again by uh, Jamie. By Jamie. Uh, <laughs> and we're back for uh, Rat Catchers Part 2. Uh, this time going up against the freshly errated farmers. Yes, yes. Um, I'll be using the I'll be using the farmers. Jamie's going to stick with the uh, rat catchers less diseased. Yep. This and then, time round. And we also have these today. Yeah, oh. we've got the, the the new shiny shiny. Yes. Is but you can explain. In the... So the game plan deck. Um, we've talked about this for uh, for a little while. I think we first mentioned it at uh, SteamCon UK during the keynote, or sort of in the Q and A afterwards and stuff like that as well. And uh, we mentioned this is going to be replacing the guild plots. Um, yep. These are going to be, uh, <clears throat> I think we, I think I can't remember if we're, pre I think we're pre-releasing them at Adepticon. I believe so. Yes. Yeah, um, they're going to be in play at Adepticon as well. We're going to have them there for all of our events awesome. and for people to use. Um, and yeah, so from that point on, they'll replace the guild plots and they'll be part of the organised play, like regional cups from then onwards. Yeah, uh, we're going to be playing with them today. People haven't seen them really much. I think we showed one a picture of one of them on Twitter. At least I did. Yes, a few yeah, weeks ago. I think well, I think the ones that have been seen via the product images are won't touch the hair. Not yeah. This description of that one. People questioning what do those symbols mean? Yeah, The blue absolutely. and yellow symbols. So we're going to be playing with them today and talking through them as we're using them. But just as we did with the, with the or we didn't do rather with the rat catchers last time, yeah. uh, we're not going to be going through all the cards individually. It's just kind of pick up what you can yeah. really from the game. We'll probably have to read them out to each other so we know yeah. what each other's effects are for each turn anyway. So you'll get a few of them in game. Absolutely. Um, but what we did with the last time with the, with the guild plots, remember we, we, um, we dealt them out before the game. Yes, uh, before yeah. we went online, uh, before we went live, didn't we? And we're actually going to be dealing them out today beforehand um, because they, what the cards that you draw, we think that can actually help you inform your player choice for the for the game. Yep. So we haven't selected our six yet. Like we've got some ideas in our heads of what six we're probably going to play. Yes. But yeah. we're going to do the actually drawing the the um, game plans and selecting a hand in case that changes any players that we want to play. And we can talk about that during the game and stuff like that. Yeah, well, definitely. So. All right. So, how does it work? Do we one person comes to the table with their game plan deck and deals that just one deck out, or is it well? Both so it's, players it's need one? very similar to how the guild plots used to work in that there's one shared deck between the two of you, yeah. Uh, and then there's a deck of eighteen which you'll deal out. In, we'll obviously shuffle up, which I've already done, and then we'll deal out into two hands of seven yep. for each person. You'll take that hand of seven, look at the cards, and then select uh, five to keep. So five you're going to drop keep. two of them. Okay. Um, so you're going to have seen 14 of the 18 cards. There's four mm -hmm. off to the side that nobody has seen yet, and yep. there'll be two that you have seen but you have not you've chosen not to play with. Yeah. The back of these cards, uh, just because we haven't got the final uh, game plans in yet, we've just we've, we've only got paper printouts for the um, for the game plans that we're using today. But we've just slotted in some some guild plots, like yep. cards on the back, just to give them some sturdiness. So don't people worry too much about what's on the back of these cards, because yep. they're just there to give them some backbone. Seven, seven. So there's this hand of seven. Take whichever one you like. There's four here that nobody's seen. Okay, look. Right off the side. So for me and for the guys at home, what do the symbols mean? So for the symbols, well, I'll I was going to say I'll take some of the cards that uh, are not being used, but, but yeah. we've seen them at that point. So um, when you see them being played, there is a, a, a blue circle in the bottom left of the of the cards. Mm -hmm. You can hopefully see um, Jamie's Jamie Giblin's, or rather. <laughs> um, and there's, so the blue symbol in the bottom left that's going to be the card's initiative value, uh, yep. and that ranges between one and seven. Mm -hmm. So what happens is from the start of the turn, from turn two onwards, because yep. we're going to roll for kick and receive as we as, always as normal as normal as normal. From turn two onwards, you're going to play one of these cards, and then that is your initiative value for the turn instead of rolling a die. Yep. Uh, you still add your momentum onto okay. that momentum from the previous turn as normal, and the person with the highest initiative value overall gets to choose who's going to go first. Yeah. Uh, and in the other bottom corner you've got a, a yellow circle is that's your influence value um, so that's going to add or subtract influence from your influence pool okay. so say if I have a team that generates 13 like I did last time we played yep. and I play a card that has an influence value of minus one that means that for that turn I will have yeah. 12 influence and it okay. only applies for that one turn so it can change turn to turn yeah. and those range from minus one to zero and plus one, plus so one. Plus not, okay. a, not a massive change in amount so of not a huge swing but enough to make you think am I, am I going to take this card absolutely so you've got to think about quite a lot about when you're selecting these cards about do you want just the highest initiative cards that you can get your hands on do you actually perhaps want a team perhaps say for the hunters for instance or the blacksmiths that really really could do, really feel a lot from extra influence point maybe you're going to yeah. hunt down those cards with extra influence points in them or perhaps avoid the well, ones that have th minuses let's say a 13 influence uh Blacksmith's teams are scary prospects. Yeah, yeah, They're absolutely. They're at 12 normally. Yes, yes. And then obviously you've also got the text effects as well, and perhaps there are certain text effects that you really, really want, and those text effects, pardon me, the particularly strong text effects have been weighed down by a lower initiative value and perhaps an, a lower influence um, value as well. Ooh. So you're a, you're a potentially football-y side, so I'm going to have to look at these carefully. Yes, yes. Um, That's the other thing as well. When you're playing a team that can choose between... Sort of, as this rat catchers can between more combat oriented players like Scourge and more footballing oriented players like Skulk, Bonesaw, then the cards you've drawn can influence your choice a little bit. 
Wow. Right. And I have to discard two of these. Yes. Can I not be... keep all of them? I, I was just thinking that as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, right, if I hold these up here, uh, just to give an example of some of the effects, can you see that? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I want to keep six. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll show the one that I, I would grinned at as using the farmers. I think that's going to be. Oh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Just to, because oh, I'm showing a card that says it. What is a squaddy? So that's a so, new term to guild. Ball. It is. We just realised um, that we've been searching for. Well, not realised, but for a little while we've been searching for a term just to call non-captain, non-mascot players. Yeah. Because we kind of, at the moment, we have captain players, we have mascot type players, and then non captain, just, non mascot. Yeah, and everybody else. And we, in rules terms, we've had to refer to those kind of models, as you say, as non captain, non mascot. So the term squaddy just allows us to refer to those models specifically, and it just means non captain, non mascot. Yeah. So, yeah. We, I guess the, the ideal thing would be player, but then that's also a general term for everybody playing a game of Guild Ball. Yeah, it's already a defined term, yeah. as you say. So we couldn't use that. We couldn't use that. Okay, okay. so have you got your. Yep, chosen and my five. I have my five as well. Yep. Um, so at this point, we now roll for kick and receive as normal. Mm -hmm. I got a two. So you got a two. That's what we're rolling again. Three. I got a one. Cool. So I'm going to choose to receive. Receive the ball. Um, which by the current organized play document means that I'm also putting the first player out as well. Okay, we also should have chosen Captain Mascot beforehand, but we kind of know for this yeah, game. Yeah, for this game I'm, I'm taking... Uh, yeah, so we're going to cheat a little bit here, because obviously I've only got one Captain and Mascot. Yeah. And we've said we're playing with the Rathod Farmer, so you're going to play with Thresher. Yeah, I'm going to play Thresher Peck, because you, you, sure. s you spaff that disease condition <laughs> around a lot. Uh, yes, that's... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and hopefully that can mitigate some of that at least. Yeah, so when you get knocked down, you can you can clear that without clear spending that. Yeah. momentum in the normal way. Makes sense. a lot of sense. Uh, so Thresher and Peck. Cool. I mean, I also won the roll, so I think we should use my ball as well. Yeah, we we'll use the fat rat. <laughs> Makes sense. Get rid of the turnip. Cool. All right. So we talked last time a little bit about the fact we're only going to use the base um, the base rat catches. Today we're going to push outside that boundary a little bit, and I'm mm -hmm. actually going to play with bone saw. Bone soaring. Yeah, it's going for those. I'm not I'm entirely for... sure that going tail to tail and fighting the farmers is the wisest choice. I don't think it ever is. Uh, I'm, I'm going to make use of the freshly rotted tater. Yeah, and be, I'm sure you can guess what's going to come next for me as well. <laughs> I wonder. Yeah. I wonder. Um, so for me, it's going to be skulk. Let's get another footbally two inch melee zone in there. I think. Mm -hmm. Millstone. Yep. Um, so, and I've also got to choose as well. I didn't have this choice last time because we played with the base six rat catchers. Yeah. Whether I even want to play with the disease condition at all. Well, yeah, because you could you could drop both scourge and miasma. I could to not take it. I could. Now I was initially thinking feeling scourge this morning, but I was talking to some people on Twitter and they think that pelage might be a better choice, perhaps into farmers. A lot of your damage is momentous, so I'm actually going to yeah. go with pelage. Makes sense. Uh, I'm going to go with harrow. Get that plus one damage and another uh, harvest marker. Yep, yep. Now I've got three two-inch melee zones to pick from. Do I want the disease condition? Do I want veteran graves? I know the stream are going to be going veteran graves. We want to know if there's any changes. Is there anything <laughs> on the back of his card? <laughs> <laughs> Might be. Maybe. Maybe. You'll find out. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hmm. Well, the, what does the stream think? I'm not so sure. And just to be fair to people, if we if I don't play with Veteran Graves, we will yeah. talk a little bit about yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Um, so don't worry about it. if I don't pick him, we'll talk about him a bit. Uh, what do they think? Into farmers. We'll wait for those to come through. Guys on the on in chat actually said the turnip ball had better contrast to the table, so yep. it was easier to track. Fine, that sounds fine. Sad, sad times for the fat rat. Oh well. Um, everyone's screaming Veteran Graves. Vet oh, fine, okay, fine. We'll play the Veteran Graves then. <laughs> oh. Okay, so no, no, so no disease, disease condition. No disease condition at all. Uh, yeah. And then my final one... Uh, yeah. yeah. My final one is going to be Jack Straw, because... Three influence. I'm going to miss Scourge, he's my boy. No Rataclism. No. Oh, people are sad about that, they've remembered. Yeah. Yeah, well, they... they you know, you've, you've missed a chance. The, the stream has spoken. <laughs> so what do we have? We have... We've got... So how much do I generate? I generate 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 for you. And I have 2, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13 again. I want to make the comments about the rats getting 13 a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to acknowledge that that's there. Yes, that is a thing. <laughs> Six, nine, 
12, 13. Cool. And so I said I was going to receive, which means you go and kick. Get these players off. All right. So Thresher, front and center. I'm going to use the... So when I was uh, over in SteamCon US, I got to watch bots a lot on um, yep. the world champion of Guild Ball at the moment. Uh, on the stream a lot. I'm going to do what he always did, because why make your own things up where you can just copy the best? Uh, why not? Uh, uh, why not, indeed? I feel I'm somewhat at a disadvantage. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Peck, you can sit around here, make sure Harrow is this side so that he can get his harvest marker. You can go a little bit wider, and I'll have Jack kick the ball. Sure. Okay. dokie. Okay, so... Hmm. So let's have. So we've got some rough ground over here. Yes, yeah, we should point that out. So we've got uh, yeah. sewer grates here, fast ground yep. from the rat catchers. Yep. Uh, some farmer uh, obstacles here, but uh, obstacle, rough ground, obstacle, and a big barrier here, the millstone. <laughs> we. <Wee. laughs> okay, so let's have some people ready to go and collect the ball in case it happens to go wide. Stand some dudes in the middle. All right. I think we'll go with that. And we have a clock today. We do. Well, <laughs> we, had a, we, had a, we had a clock last time as well. <laughs> Did we? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, right. Piper and bone saw. You're going to make my life's misery. Hopefully. Big jog, two inches. <laughs> and then the ball, eight inches. Uh, let's try for a. Uh, is it successful? You remember his kick of two? Is not. Oh dear. Oh god. Well, get it out of the way now. Yeah. At least you can't make me re-roll it from the plot card. The plot card's not there anymore. Yeah. Uh, direction four. Fine. I'm. I'm this cool with three. that. Yeah. Four three. So centers on that spot there. If you'd okay. be so kind. Absolutely. Thank you very much. All right. And we're ready to. Yeah. Go, go on clock. It. Yes. The game has begun. Indeed. Indeed. Stack a couple on there. And we've seen the power of Reverie last week. So we know we want to have scared of that. at least three on Piper. Yep. Put a bit more in though. Because why not? Some on Skulk. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Bit more there, bit more there. And then probably have Pelage so that she can catch up with wherever the game happens to be. I think that'll be me. Okay, look. So we went for one on Pelage, one on Veteran Graves, six on Piper, thank you, six on Piper, two on Skulk, and three on Bowensaw. Okay. Uh, for me, Thresher's getting his full stack as ever. Yep. Uh, two onto Millstone, two onto Jack Straw, one onto Peck, one onto Harrow. Yeah. And two on Tater for the remainders. Yes, yes. Something else to note as well, if you just want to pause it for a second, is, um, is during the game you'll see that the tokens for the rat catchers have changed this time as well. So last time we had the, uh, it was the Muse on Minis tokens for the rat catchers, wasn't it? And it, it was, was yeah. the Frozen Forge tokens for the Union. It was. And this time we flipped it around. So we've got the Muse on Minis tokens for the, the, farmers. the farmers, and we've got the Frozen Forge tokens for the rat catchers. Yep. Uh, and over to your first activation. And away we go. So we need to go and grab that ball. I probably should have checked how far. Graves was away from it, but I didn't. Okay, it looks like he's within six, which would be good, because I can jog and get it then, which I quite like. Yeah. Yeah, cool. So uh, we're going to go with Gretchen Graves first. He's mm -hmm. just going to jog over to the ball. Da, 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 da. Snap there. the ball. And then he's going to pass the ball hmm, to Skulk, I think. Yep. Okay. And he's got a kick of three, three, six. Strong and start. Like last week, indeed. One more well, pass the thing made. is, I, pa I hit all one of the. Pass to I, hit all <laughs> I hit all of the initial passes, yeah. and it was just that one important one at the end for the reverie that I missed. Anyway, so I'm going to get a momentum point. I'm going to keep that, and that's over to you. All right, so check easily in. Uh, Millstone is going to use getting the goal <coughs> on to Peck, so the starters, and then it's going to say get out and bump both Thresher two inches forwards. Still a big scary man. Still scary. Yep. Um, I saw the tweet from uh, I saw the tweet from Bryce as the uh, as the Arata went out, which was sorry, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then 
this is where I, I do this with, with Millstone. I'm like, she's pretty happy where she is. Sure, sure. No, she'll walk for us. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, especially because uh, the, the, the RSI is on take one for the team has dropped a bit. She she's going to four inches. She's going to need to come forward a little bit more, isn't she now? Make sure. That's both. Yeah. Cool. Makes sense. Within two inches. Yes, I remember the harvest market. I am so happy. <laughs> So I think I'm just going to go with uh, Pelage next and just bring her back over to where most of the game is happening. Yep. Um, so Thresher has six, sorry, it's a 5-8 move, isn't it? 5-8 move. Okay. And has a 2-inch melee, can be 3 if he pulls up can a harvest be, marker. Can be 3. So 11-inch um, threat. Yeah, I'm just going to mark that down so I can have yep. a look at where he is. We've got, we've got a 3 as well. 3 there, yeah. Hey, veteran graves. Oh, oh good, good, that'll oh, do. Leave that there, though. Now. I just want to feel, feel, okay, okay. feel good about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's not in there straight away. Cool. So Pelage is going to go. She's just going to take a sprint for now. Yep. Um, so she is going to go about three inches around the rat. And then just a little bit up here. It's a five, yeah. And I just want to basically make sure I'm outside at 11. But yep, I should yeah, probably, I agree. Yeah, that, that, that looks out. Cool. And then um, as we saw last time, <coughs> um, Squeak has Tagalong. So after somebody uh, finishes an a, a advance where they leave his melee zone, he can jog directly towards them, which is four. So he's going to take that jog. He's going to go up there. Yep. And that is my turn. Okay. Uh, I am going to use Cocky onto uh, Millstone. Yep. Just in case. Why not? Uh, and then make sure I stay within four inches of the goal. Yeah. Yeah. And then and he's, he's got the, you said he's got the get in the goal thing, right? So he's got get in the goal on him. So that gives him goal defence. Yeah, we need, you need some big gloves. Not yeah. Big, <laughs> big foam fingers you used to see. Yeah. Um, I don't have a turn for I'm sure it's there somewhere. Yeah. Or we just lost it. Cool. Okie dokie. Oh yeah, clock. That exists. It does. It does. Cool. All right. So Skull's going to go next. He's just going to pass the ball to Piper. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're good. Nailed We're fine. It. It's, not nailed the, it's it. not the important one yet. Yeah. <clears throat> not the important one yet. I'm um, going to keep that momentum point. Um, and then we'll just do Horrific Odor, just on the off chance. Just in case. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, you're going to have the last activation of the turn, no matter what. Um, so and then we'll just jog him forward a little bit. Don't want to go too far. Yeah, we're not going to go within the five, so we'll just come forward a little bit. But again, not within the thirteen of eleven, 11 rather of Thrasher. Okay, uh, back to you. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just going to carry on building up. I'm going to uh, put down my harvest marker. Yeah, I remembered. Uh, it's just within two inches. This one, isn't it? Oh no, four inches. If within four inches, can you sow the seeds? So sow the seeds is two inch range, unlike the other guys who have the four inch. Yeah, yeah, so he's got to be within four of the captain to get it for, for free or to do one straight away. Uh, I'll put it here. <coughs> uh, and then tool up thresher. Yeah. Might change that's not the scary. Habits. That's not scary at all. Nah. And then I'm just going to walk up and try and create a little bit of a barrier to stop. Yeah. Your boy bones so ruining my day. Yeah, yeah. Now, so many options here. <laughs> just, <laughs> just these two players. So I've got the pass and the dodge and the reverie, and I've seen, yeah. seen people talking about the fact I could I could even legendary to um, get the turn one to turn get the goal without bone so having activated. Yeah. Um, which is interesting. And what kind of ranges are we looking <laughs> Guys at? Guys in chat, Perkins isn't sick the week. The week he's not using uh, <laughs> my asthma and scourge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That coincidence? Co coincidence, maybe not. So, what else do we need? Cool. So if we, I haven't got a four. So need a four inch? Yeah. Well, cool. No, it's more for. Oh, for the let's say, for example, I'm just looking at some different things I can do about so because there is quite a lot of different things we different ways we can do this. Yep. So I'm going to look at that four. And then if we do, I need. I'm just wondering Eight. if I need. Yeah, yeah, I'm just wondering if I need that legendary. I think because yeah, he's, I do. If he's not direct to direct, that's when, yeah. that's where you get the twenty inches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if so he's, if he's could, off on an angle, a I could just bit. pass it to Bonesaw and have him go because he will be in range to be able to do it himself. Yeah. And then I'm not really using a Piper's um, legendary for it. Yeah. Or, or you know, I assume his heroic is. It is enemy. Enemy. Phew. At least <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Yes, enemy model. Yeah. So we can't do that. Alternatively, also, I've still got Squeak as well, so I don't have to go with them just yet. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think, I'll, I think I'll take some more thinking time and just do Squeak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so Squeak will just take a jog and just come over here. OK, come back to you. All right. Um, 
Uh, you, you've busted up quite a lot, and I, I would really like to try and throw crop dusting down there, but I also... The, the, the harvest tokens are so valuable. Yes. I don't really want to throw them away just to a sprinting piper crushing yeah. my dreams. Yep, uh, literally. Literally. So I, I'm just going to put them a little bit further upfield so that these will be ready mm -hmm. for pulling for tater. Just made me think about it. Come and get them if yeah. you want them. I don't want them that badly. I'll throw it down there. Yep. Uh, put one here so I can probably hop to it. Sure. Uh, and the other one can go over here. Defensively, just so I can move up with Thresher and Tater for next turn. The eight down. Place. You've got a defensive Mickey Mouse. Yeah. <laughs> and then he'll hop. Yeah. There. For that. Okay. 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 I don't remember mine up yet. No. <laughs> Uh, and you've, just got, you've got Thresher and Tater left now, haven't you? Thresher and Tater. Now the thing, I guess the thing about doing it now, see, I haven't got time to react. If I just pass the ball and then let Bonesaw go himself, you've got to turn to move Tater into a better counter charge position, I guess, yeah. haven't you? So if I go with it now, I've kind of got that immediate, the strength of it being quite immediate, mm. which is quite enticing. Okay, so within six. So I'll have Piper go. He's going to pass the ball to Bonesaw, and then we're going to see, oh. we're going to see if we can hit some important ones. Nope. nope, classic. Nope. <laughs> oh, Definitely can't. <clears throat> um, so, uh, direction, five, distance, please be gentle, one. one. Okay, fine. So, so I can have it, it, I can just have it snap to bone saw, but that means I don't get the dodge. Yeah. Or I could just leave it, sort of where it lands, because mm. I can come sprint and try it again. Oh, yes, yeah. Um. <clears throat> okay. No, I'm going to have it snap to bone saw. Okay. Even though the pass missed. <clears throat> um, so we spent one influence for the pass, which I've already moved. Nice <laughs> in well, the chat. Classic bone saw. Cla classic. Yeah. <laughs> pass to me, pass to me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> We're going to use uh, Reverie on him. Uh, okay. Even though I know he's out of range, but I'm just going to use it for a sprint, basically. Yep, I mean, it puts him further up the field. Yeah. Uh, and then, can you, I want to see that 11. That's an eight from, I want to see that 11 from Thrasher again. So I'm not going straight into that. Yeah. Okay. So if we go sort of six around here, mm -hmm. and take another two up there, and then what we're looking like, basically if I can see. Hopefully be an eight. Yeah. We go there. Yeah, it looks close enough. Oh, no. Oh, well, no. I'll tell you what, I'm going to cheat. Yep. I'm just going to cheat totally live on it. It's fine, totally. I'm going to do proper Perkins things and cheat and spend momentum for, for gliding for a glide. instead. Yep. Uh, just to make sure that we're in. And still out of eight, yeah. Easily. Yeah, yeah. Crack him. Okie doke. Although I suppose the thing is, I didn't even have to do that because I've got like random bone saw things to do as well during his activation. Yeah, with. You could risk some more passes. Yeah, yeah. But given certain <laughs> things that have occurred, not feeling that lucky just now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, so nice. I've got the rest of Piper's activation. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, I'll just need to pay the Piper, I guess. Which, oh, that's the if I spend momentum. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think, think it's I'm gonna. gonna get it. <laughs> well, yeah, probably not gonna matter too to get much. Into, though. Um, and then we'll just move him so that he sort of comes around a bit more centrally. Okay. Um, gonna try and be a pain. Gonna have Tater sprint. Yeah. And he's gonna try and he's gonna, he's gonna sprint round to about here. Yeah. yeah. Should easily get there too. Yeah, easy. He's got eighteen sprinters, hasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Gets around there. They go in the bin. And the rest is on the thresher still. So I am going to have to do some weird things here because I don't think I can sprint and get and sort of deny that counter charge. Uh, my two inch reach gets to there. Yeah, yes. so I am going to have to try something a bit oh, funky. Oh, Yeah. Get the jack. Cool. Okay, so. Can you use glide out of activation, somebody has asked? Uh, as far as I'm aware, yeah, which whenever yeah. you're making, just whenever you're making an advance. Yep. Because uh, you can do it on like second wind and stuff. I mean, yeah. as far as and I'm it stays aware, up anyway. to the end of turn, guys in chat. Are... Yes, it does. So yes, it does. when he moves off there, he's still got it available. Yeah. Although what I'm going to do first is actually going to try and some dodge moves and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and pass to Piper. Yep. This is where it's all going to fall down for me. Yeah. But we'll see how it goes. Oh, come on. Yeah. yeah we're good for the first on the one. The first one. So. Um... Let me just check. Backup on the good. Yeah. So. He can, I can now spend a momentum point from Football Dervish to make Piper make a pass back to me. Mm -hmm. um, I can make Bonesaw make a dodge off that first. It's this model that can't make a dodge. Yeah, because he's, he's then doing the... Yeah, he makes a pass instead of making a dodge, basically. So I'm going to spend the momentum point I earned from the successful pass to dodge Bonesaw up a little bit and just sort of yep. get him in a more straight line. Okay. Do you want me to put that on a 
Yeah, yeah, I think I'm still probably going to go around here, but what I'm going to try and do is sort of dodge and then be able to jog or sprint or and get into this engage, in, engage there, yeah. Um, and then just sort of be on the edge of the six of Piper. Mm -hmm. This sort of dodge room so far. Okay, and then we spend that momentum point to have the pass back. Oh, he's done we're it! We're good. And we're good. It's going to work once thump, in your thump, life. Thump, 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 yeah. thump, thump, thump. Yeah. So again, we spend that momentum point from this successful pass to have Bond to make a dodge. Very nice. And we still haven't used Bonesaw's actual movement yet, um, so I can make a sprint if I want to. Meditate, surely. Shot. Yeah, probably meditate, Cause to be honest. Because uh, I think I'm going to be... And at least engaged by Tater. Yeah, yeah. So there's a couple of other ranges to look at, which is I'm it, it, it probably being mega greedy here to try yeah. and get the tap in. I don't think I'm going to get it. Ooh. Uh, he travels six base, doesn't he? Might be able to. Uh, that's mine. Oh, what's that looking like? Oh, that's in range, yeah. Sure, Usually. and then I can be... I can be engaged, but I'll be engaged by both Tater and Harrow. Yep. Down by two dice. Yeah. So down by two dice, needing on meditation, two dice needing a four. Well, needing a three for tapping. Oh, yes, yeah. Well, four back up for yeah. getting the goal. Oh, sorry, yes, yeah, no, you're right. Yeah. So I think I need that. I think I need that. So I'm going to, yeah, I'll drop to there. Mm -hmm. So uh, drop to engage both these models. Yes. Or be engaged by both these models, rather. <laughs> um, we'll put up uh, meditation so I can reroll. And then we'll take a shot with a mountain point. So I'm only going to roll in one die, oh. unfortunately. But it's re-rollable, at least. And we'll just see how it goes. I'm not going to call it a Timmy, because, no. <laughs> which is too late now. <laughs> because if I do that, then it means it won't work. Because yeah. every time I try a Timmy, it doesn't work. Which is basically a long odds play. So I need a four. Yes. Here we go. Oh. Here we go. With the re-roll. With the re-roll. Re it's it's got to be on the table. It's got to be on the table. table. Yeah. It's got it. It's <laughs> what a git. <laughs> So Bonesaw gets the goal. Four points to the rat catchers. Yes, indeed. Uh, and I've got to decide whether I want to take that dodge away. That, but the thing is... Give you that dice back that missed. Yes. Yeah, you went off the table, so <laughs> it's fine. Went off the table. That's, That's totally fair. cool. That's um, so I've got a momentum point back. Do I want to dodge, or am I just going to stand there and get hit a lot in the face? Free reposition. Free. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the thing is, he's, 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 not in, he's not in range of hitting anybody else. Is he? so he's got to go for bone saw if he wants to hit somebody. Yeah, no, no one else. So if I drag you away, you're kind of getting away from the rest of all this stuff over here, at least, isn't it? So, my, yeah. my path there is not great either. Yeah, so I'll take that momentum point and make a four-inch dodge, and we're basically just going to go, like, far away as we can. I'll let off in this direction. Yep. Whoop. You uh, say as far as you can. Your big base legs behind. <laughs> Um, right. Like big butts, um, and then back to you. That's me. So got goal kick. As well. Oh yeah, the classic oh, the goal ball. Everyone forgets it. Uh, I'm gonna drop it out over here, away from hopefully Dan. So uh, this way direction is one, distance is two. So right on Thresher's or Millstone's head. <coughs> hmm. I'll give it to Thresher because it seems a sensible place to put it. Hmm. Uh, and then we're going to go try and kill Bonesaw. Yeah. yeah. So uh, he has a five inch walk, a two inch melee, or potentially three inch if I want it. Mm. I don't think you I need don't. it though, unless you, unless you really need it for range, I guess. Uh, so it's either going to be a sprint, or take, I'll, I'll just take the harvest marker. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'll take that one off to activate the three inch melee. Yep. Walk so that's the new there. use of Scythe in March. Um, yes. Which now is how Thresh against the 3-inch melee zone by spending a harvest marker that's within 2 inches of it. So it, basically for my thoughts there were, it's either one influence this turn and one influence next turn. Yeah, yeah. And I'd rather have more attacks with my tooled up, so... That's fair enough. So Bonesaw is defence 5 at this point because he scored a goal, so he's now defence 5 for the rest of the game. Yep, and I am 7 with my brand new playbook. Yep. So let's get the card out. So I need fives. Just the one will be oh, two damage. Okay, so he's got ten left. Yep. A second swing. Just one, so two damage again. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh no, Thresher, remember who you are. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Uh, yeah, I'll take the three momentous damage. Yep, so is that, that's three including tooled up, right? Correct, yes. Okay, so he's got five left. Yep. Uh, and they ain't tough, just... <coughs> <laughs> I just yeah, so I'll take that armor down to definitely zero. <laughs> uh, I think you. I think you're all right now. Uh, wow, six hits will yep. be four momentous damage. So he's got one left. Two. Uh, so just need a hit on this. Two, yep. Four, six, seven. Just one. Just the one, and there it is. Ooh. Just the one. 
Okay, uh, that takes. So two damage, that takes him out. So yeah. plus me up to three momentum. Yep. And two victory points. Correct. Okay, so is that the end of the turn, I think? End of the turn, yeah. So we pause the clock. <coughs> uh, we take away, do all the cleanup and stuff. Yep. So I take this away. I need to make a choice if I want to rip any of these up. For... Yes. I think that's, I think that's done sort of during your influence yes, during... allocation. Yeah. So you can sort of see who's gone so first. So you see what's stuff. happening for you first and then... Yeah. So this is where we come to the, to the game plan cards. Oh, yeah. Uh, so instead yeah. of making a roll, you're at plus three, so you get plus three added to whichever card you pick. Russia's not in a great place for this turn. So is he, is he got the ball as well? He's got the ball, yeah. Right. Hmm. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I don't have any abilities to activate within eight inches. Tough one. <laughs> so there's a choice here because I've, I've chosen quite good cards, I feel, anyway. Yeah, yeah. And I don't really want to sp spend any of them. Yes. Without getting the benefit, but you also kind of have to guarantee. We have to guarantee. Well, if you if you really want to go first, then you've got. That's the thing. Because the yeah. thing is, well, you might even not be too fussed about going first, and it creates yeah. this whole little mini game then of do I go for a high initiative value or do I not too not too bothered about going first? Yeah. Whereas for me, yeah. going first here is not it's not a massive deal. No. Um, <sighs> but at the same time, then doubt creeps into your mind. Oh, you could steal yeah, the initiative from me if I pick a low card. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with that one. Sure. Sure. I'm going to show it to the cameras. Yeah. Let's see what I've got. Okay, I'm going to go with, uh, yeah, with that. Okay. Well, we can, we're going to reveal yeah, that. Yeah, we're going to reveal that. So uh, I've gone for a, a four initiative. I've gone for keep the, oh. keep the Ball Moving, which is a four initiative card. It gives me a total of four because I've got no momentum left. Nice. No influence at all. It just gives all my models plus one, plus zero kick. So it's a nice and simple one, yep. uh, especially for someone that wants to make a lot of kicks like me, as I'm going to be trying to attack that ball a lot. Yep. It makes sense to try and get some more kick dice. So I went controversially for a low scoring one because I thought my oh. plus three would see me through, and I went oh. for a plus one, so we are drawn. Oh, well, well indeed. Well, do you want to so, go for the yep. card? So my, mine is the offside <laughs> trap. An enemy model must spend plus one additional MP to make a shot or a snapshot if it is closer to the friendly goalpost than, the, than any other model. Nasty. So if you think I'm going to go for a goal that turn, you think there's going to be you nobody else Push closer. forwards, you might pass me, try and go for it. But it also gives me plus one influence. It does. It and does. in a turn when I'm looking to probably pull up all of these, yeah. it's um, going to be a big turn. Yeah. Influence. I mean, you also might have decided that uh, yeah, maybe the first activation wasn't too important to you. Well, yeah, um, there's, there's also this. I think I... I, I I think I'm out of range to go and hit you, so I'd like, if I win this, yeah. if, if, or if I did win this, yeah. I'd rather you went first anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Cool. So now that we've drawn, because you have uh, one on your card plus three of momentum points, and I, yep. which is four, and I have four on my card, so that just means at this point we just roll off to determine. Yep. And there's no additionals for this. No, it's just a straight, straight roll, roll off. So you, you can still have the choice you win that right. one. Uh, I'll keep this to one side so I know it's active. Yep. And um, I will let you have the first... Activation. activation. Yep. And I will add plus one to my influence pool. Yep, and you get a momentum point as well because you're going second. second. Um, so, therefore, Bone Saw is going to come back on. Ready to go on clock? Uh, yes, yes. Bone Saw is going to come back okay. on. And uh, I reckon it seems like a good idea for him to come back on near that fast ground over there. It's not a terrible idea. As long as I'm not getting too close to this, Chappy. Just going through the uh, chat now. Uh, People are excited to see the game plans in action. Um, what do you think of the ones? I mean, the ones we've picked, perhaps not the like the one I've picked, not the most exciting one, perhaps. The one you've picked is very interesting. I've got too much of a movement here because I've jogged onto the fast ground. Oh yeah. So nice. I'm going to go a little bit further and just get the back edge of it. One of the nice parts about Bone Saw is really big, big base. Butt. Yeah. Big butt <laughs> is that you can you can just uh, clip yeah. the edge of that fast ground. So I think he's happy uh, guys are very happy that you are seeing your card with plus four initiative and plus one kick. Yeah, um, I think it helps quite a lot of teams out if they just think, I'm going to make a lot of kicks this turn, I'm yeah. going to go for a very crucial goal. Um, uh, Pim Vice, legendary turn. Yeah, absolutely. Is really, really good. Massive. And uh, guys saying, looks like the plus one inf is a big loss in power on the rest of the card, which means teams that have decent influence economy are not going to care for those cards as much. Well, we'll see. Possibly. I think it's extra influence is, is, in is useful for almost every team. Yeah. 
And it, what's interesting about these cards is they cause a lot of debate as well. Is is people tend to latch onto one of the three things they're most interested in, whether it's the initiative, the initiative or the, the influence, influence or the effect. Exactly, and you you see quite a lot of debate. At least we did in our playtesters, particularly about. Um, about which part they value the most. And we especially saw that during the playtest day uh, here as well, because yeah. they were playing with the game plan cards that day. Oh, so some people have seen it if they came early? Yes, yes. Ah. So if people came so to the... So it was one of the things they've seen? It is. It, it was, rather. So they got to play with them that day, and they loved them all day. And there was, as I say, there's quite a good debate during the day about what parts they like the most. I'm unsure where to put my influence, to be honest. I need to, you know, I need to attack that ball. <sighs> Could show some bits. It's not time to show off this yet. No. Uh, with Bonesaw on the on the field compared to last week, it definitely feels like you're much more down my throat trying to get this ball back. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Speaking of which, I think it probably makes sense to to front to front load that a little bit as well, yeah. uh, which means we've got one spare, which I have from from scoring my goal. Uh, maybe don't. Yeah, don't know, don't know. Well, I'll just done that here for now. Okay, cool. That's me. Uh, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna keep the counter charge up, just in case. Yep. I'm gonna pull these two for uh, influence, yep. so an additional two, so I am rocking out 15 influence this turn, mm. big, big turn. Uh, and let's give the standard five to Old Man Grange, not Grange, Thresher. Yep. I'm, used to, I'm, used, I'm so used to playing farmers with Grange, yep. it feels quite liberating playing with Thresher. Uh, let's go have a tool up. Get in the goal and a get out or a sprint if we need it. Oh, everyone's going to be pretty healthy this turn. It's interesting with farmers sometimes you can get some situations where everyone, almost everyone's fully loaded on certain turns. Yeah, I, th I think I've definitely had that with the Grange legendary turn. Yeah, I was like, oh, I've got all five out, uh, yeah. and next turn I intend to pull all of them up. Yep, and I'll have 18 influence. <laughs> yep, yep, cool. Uh, so I think uh, I don't really have too much I want to do with that first activation the thing. Is mm, I kind of just want to kind of wait and see for the moment, especially because I've got to be careful that counter charge as well. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm just going to do a squeak activation for now. Um, just move squeak up to here, and then someone's going to jog off and drag him with them later on. Yeah. All right. What health does Bones come back on? At? Only six. Only six. Only six. So you could pass the ball and go in and take him straight out again if you like. But that's, 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 that's what I'm thinking. That's Thresher. Let's thresh out the game for a bit. Yeah, oh, but I have cards for eight in, within eight inches of the board edge. Oh, which do you now? Which I will uh, hopefully that, come sure. around. Sure. Well, that would be a very interesting way to take it then. Uh, but I probably don't have a three-inch melee if I'm going to do this because I'm outside of two inches yeah. to begin with. It's going to drag Thresher even further away from the game. Yeah, so it would be a four-inch dodge if successful. It's there. And then he's got a five-inch walk. Four... Six, seven. So yeah, I'd, need, I'd still need to charge. To okay. Hit him. So that would be one for that, two for the charge. But I haven't got any momentum, so I can't. No momentum. There's no defensive. Yeah. I need to hit the second. Oh, we'll go for it. This is where I missed the pass and have to plan it all out again anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, so passing the ball to Millstone. Mm-hmm. Level one dice gone. Use a three-eight kick. Three-eight kick. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. just Ooh. just successful. It's fine. Never would mind. Yeah, so that goes there. I'll mm -hmm. take the four inch dodge. Yep. And then charge to be within two inches. Yep. So. Oops. Wee! <laughs> inch to there. They're spent from the charge. Yep. So three, okay, four, five. five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine. Can I borrow two of your dice, please? Can. Thank you. There was a part of me thinking, should I legendary? For this to make it yeah. happen, but I, I can react to it. Yeah, I, th I think uh, I think you should be able to do this with one would hope. what you've got. Yeah, yeah. So Especially because I'm not defensive stance in this. Yeah. So six health. Oh, one hit, one damage. Five left. Five left. That's fine. I'm sure it'll be fine because you'll just spike That'll the last one. I'll spike. I'll just spike. <laughs> two, four, six, seven. Uh, two. Two. So Sorry. Two momentous damage. You're okay. You're okay. Do you want a bonus time? Oh, 100 <laughs> percent. Uh, bonus time. So three health left. Yes. What do you need? One, two, three, four, five. Five. Oh, oh, that's that might be a bit of an ask. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't even hit. Yeah. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh no. It all went wrong. Uh, there's your activation. I did. And you want no momentum now? I've won. You've won. You've won. Because I, yes. I went in second and yes. got one from one attack. Yes. Okay then. 
Wasn't expecting that. Me neither. It's fine. Huh. Everything's fine. Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, right. Should have gone with Harrow. <laughs> Tooled up. Put down Harmless Mark. Can I have those eights? Learning. Can I have those eights, please? I need to do some, yes, yeah. some measuring. All oh, right. So I was listening to the uh, the Arata podcast and I heard someone uh, talk, I think it was Rage Quit the Wire or something like that, talking about the fact that I use a tape measure every now and then. I think it's useful for measuring something that's just too far for widgets. Yeah, so if you need a quick gauge. Yeah, so what I'm looking at is uh, is that pipe is within 16 or so of... Uh, it's not even 16, is it? It's less than 16. What's the base move of Millstone? Is it four? A five. Five. Ooh, it's nearly close enough. It's not quite though. I need some momentum. I find an easy way of doing that without just bone saw just clocking you in the face <laughs> for a little bit for some momentum. Which I might do to be honest. I just think I need some momentum up at the moment, and I don't think bone saw is terribly helpful for me getting a goal right now. Yeah, that seems pretty straightforward. So uh, we're just gonna have bone saw activate, and Still uh, got three health. He does have three health. God right? damn it! That just, last attack. I know. I know. Right. Oh, um, dear. It's unfortunate. So we're just gonna have bone saw go. Uh, and he's just could have him walk around the cover, but then we're in range of other people, so we'll just walk into base to base mm -hmm. on the half chance he counter attack me, uh, and they'll make an attack. Would you like to counter attack? I will counter attack. I, I, it I, could I, all go wrong for me. I'm going to spike. Yep, <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Uh, and I'm just looking for some simple momentum generation here, so I'm looking for fours, right? Yes, fours. So I get two, so I'll just take a momentous dodge. I'm not going to go anywhere. Yep. Um, I just want the momentum point, and then your counter attack. Oh, answer me for countering. Yes. Yep. No. One. One damage. <laughs> it's, it's not. I don't think it's Thresh's day today. No. And I don't think it's Thresh's card's fault either. <laughs> no. So he's showing me up after the. Uh, the Arata. Cool. So uh, make another attack. Yep. Uh, we got three hits this time. Oh, could do the expect arrival, but I don't want to push you back Come towards. On, push me away. Push me away. I don't want to push you back towards the game. Uh, so I'll just take another <laughs> dodge. Uh, that's not momentum. Some of the momentous dodge. Don't know if I want to move anymore though. Uh, think about Tater's actual charge. Yeah, we'll dodge around a little bit. Yep, so just to touch around there. Uh, make another attack. Nothing. Hooray! <laughs> and then one more attack. Yes. Uh, two, which is going to be another momentous dodge. Yep. Actually, measure it properly this time. Uh, come around a little bit. So Still. Do you want to be out of two of Tater? Oh, yeah, ten of Tater. Yeah. Oh, it's ten, isn't it? Cross yeah, his movements. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yes. He's so we'll just go to time. close to the edge of one. Um, I've got three momentum points. I'll spend one of those to heal up uh, Bone Source. So he goes back up to six health. Yeah. Um, leaves me on so two momentum. Still within an inch of Thresher, and then back yeah. to you. Oh yeah, something like that. It's fine. You've been talking a lot on your activations. Sure. Um, okay. Hmm. Could have gone better. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think I'll have Millstone scream, get in the goal yep. on the chicken. Makes sense. Get out. I'm going to go push Tater. She's going to lose her voice, I think. Yes, yeah, screaming at everybody. Yeah. So five inches, easy enough to get touches <coughs> there. I can't end on the Hobbs can't. Marcus. Yeah, you can't end on the Hobbs Marcus. You can bump, you can bump him off and then I'll carry on moving after Yes, him. yes, you can walk over it. Oh, yep. Wasn't a sprint that, though, was it? It wasn't, no, I'm not destroying it. <laughs> Just checking. Yeah. Just checking. Uh, <laughs> and then I am going to pass to the chicken. Okay. This is a lot of uh, pressure on the chicken. Yes. I don't know if he can handle it. It's getting the goal. You've got the ball. Yeah. What are you doing? Okay. Yeah. Two six kick. Nailed it. Okay. <laughs> One momentum. Bing. Uh, and getting the goal. Okay. And before I finish, no, 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 uh, no, 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 no. Let me do things. No. I'm so excited to do things. Uh, let's try to push that a little bit further up, just in case. So this one is four, isn't it? I believe. Uh, just I to check I'm not uh, kitschy. No, I don't think so for Millstone. Nope, planting season, two inches. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, thing you're thinking of is uh, look busy. Yes. Yeah, on yeah. Getting them mixed up. Yeah. So, ball's on the chicken. Okay. Leave him alone. But I want the ball. I, I... Okay. So if I uh, run eight to there, da, 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 da. that works. Might try something a bit fancy. Oh. Been thinking about it. What's um, what's the chicken's playbook like? Amazing. I bet is it. 
It has a dodge on one and one damage. It tackles on two. It tackles on two. That's the one I wanted to know, you see. Okay. So I'll just tell you what I'm thinking about. Is the I'm thinking about the um, the dilemma mechanic on Piper that people haven't that seen yet. That we didn't get to show off last time. Because I definitely didn't just forget it the entire time. <laughs> um, I'm going to need your eights, if that's all right. Yep. So, um, and it requires me to be in a particular distance uh, from the chicken, you see, so from Peck. So I can sprint that far. Mm, it's, it's not it's not quite close enough yet. Does my legendary affect me? Yes, it does. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay, that could work then. So I could sprint yep. legendary kind of myself up. Yep. I was kind of hoping to legendary to pull you pull me closer, back because yeah. then you come out of um, uh, getting the goal range. Then you yep. see. I think I put Piper a bit too far away, basically. But the thing is, I could still, I can, well, I could legendary myself up and then heroic you. Yeah, so we get out. a little bit closer. Yeah. I think I'm going to go for this because it sounds really cool. The more I talk myself into it, the more I like it. Yeah. Must be showing off his full mechanics as well. Yes. Yes, indeed. Okay. Cheat and push that chicken forwards a bit is what the... <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, we cheated once this game. Yeah. I don't think we should probably do it again. Uh, it wasn't a big cheat, though. Uh, so what's the best way to, to do this? I really wish. I really wish I was a bit closer. Uh, that's fine. Okay, we'll just go for it. So uh, Piper's going to activate. Yep. Um, Piper's going to take a sprint. Okay, okay. Um, so he's going to sprint around a little bit. Just takes him to about here. Just because he had to go around, go around the skulk, base. Yep. a little bit. Um, <clears throat> just check at which point what's within eight inches of me then for my my legendary. Is, is Millstone him? Yes, 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 yeah. Cool. So it's basically just it's just the chicken. It's kind of out of here, really. Okay, so we're going to use uh, Piper's legendary swarms of obedience. So everyone in this pulse immediately makes a dodge. Um, directly towards which goalpost? Uh, one of the one goalpost. So I think it's actually going to be yours. Cause I want to move Piper up. Yep. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. So um, so we check first who's going to be in that. So we know it's kind of basically everybody except these guys and the chicken. And, the chicken. and, the chicken. and we start moving things. So I'm going to move Piper first. I'm, okay. I'm not going to move the chicken at all because I want him to stay where he is. Yep. Okay. So that's a dodge there. Um, we can move Tater back. Tater so. back. Basically, all of your stuff except the chicken is going to move back. Yeah. And I'll move my stuff up as well. Track straw's going to be exhausted. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Right. So at that point, um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, Piper's Dilemma Mechanic. Okay. So we've got Haunting Melody, which is an 8-inch aura. <clears throat> um, it probably should be a, be a pulse, but it doesn't matter too yeah. much. Anyway, so what you do is, uh, once per turn during this model's activation, this model may choose one enemy model within this aura. The opposing player must choose one of the following. One, this model immediately makes a jog towards the chosen model. Okay. which would mean that Piper would make a jog towards the chicken. I would get to make an extra jog. The other choice is the chosen model immediately makes a jog towards this model. So it would mean that Peck jogged towards me, uh, and that model is a friendly model for the duration of the action. So basically, I move jog towards you at your choice, yep. or you jog towards me, but I'm moving whichever model you choose. Okay. So which one would you like? Counts as friendly, so I would get parting blow? Yeah. Well, then I'm going to try that. Okay. Stop you getting this ball. No, that's fair. That's fair. So you're going to let me move the chicken. You're going to move the chicken. Now, the thing that's important about this is it's not directly towards. Ah, it is towards, so okay. I can zigzag. So you stuff. can move. Okay, yeah. No, that's still fine. I still have faith in the chicken. <laughs> Good. Cool. All right. Is, uh, is Tater engaging the chicken? I can't see if he is or not. He is. Uh... You, you would have had control when moving him back, so you could have yeah, pushed yeah. him to not be so far. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll do, do that. that. Yeah. Yeah. If, I'd, if I'd had some foresight, yes, yeah. obviously, I'm quite distracted by talking so much, quite clearly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so fast. That's, that's on, uh, <laughs> that's on Harrow. That's on Harrow. Right? Cool, so we've got a six inch jog on the chicken. Uh, we should probably call him Peck. Peck. I don't know if he's earned his name yet. Um, and I've got to be careful of Harrow's Melly's own. Okay, and I think there's still the ways I can get what I want. Mm. Yeah. You can always push me that extra two inches as well. Yeah, exactly. Harrow's. So this is as far as you can go. And that's kind of the edge of where you'd be taking the part in blow. Where out of interest is Harrow's tackle? Harrow's tackle is on three and his knockdown is on four. Okay. He'll be rolling seven dice. Just yeah. thinking about how much you want to chance it, you see. 
Because the thing is, I can put you into the cover before you take the pot and blow. Yeah. So six dice, you know, fives. Mm, or I could just not be spend, in it. Spend the momentum. Just, just, yeah. yeah. I think we'll, so we'll just have him drag to the edge of Harrow's melee zone. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll spend another momentum point to use uh, Piper's Heroic, yep. which is to make uh, one of your models make a two-inch push, or push one of your models two inches. So I will use that on deck as well. And we'll just bring you into base to base, basically, and out of the oh. cover. Okay. Okay. Uh, at which point we'll have Piper make an attack. Yep. Um, I will against... counter it with the chicken. Indeed. I believe. I believe in the chicken. Okay, so we need fives, I believe. Fives, yep. Okay, so that'll be one for now. Um, so I could take... Uh, where's one? there? So I could take uh, one damage or a momentous tackle. I think I'll take the momentous tackle. Oh, damn. I was really hoping you didn't have anything else and I'd get to dodge one inch from pain mm. response and then I could counter and get yeah. to dodge for pain response. Yeah, no. Nope. If I dodge again. No. Nope. Um, oh. And I get a momentum point for the tackle. Okay. So I'm down to attack one. Yep. I'm going to do one whole damage. I hit. Okay. I can't do it. I'll peck you. <laughs> a damage? Yeah. Do okay, damage. that's fair. Actually, no. no I'll, I'll be sensible. Sure. I'll, I'll take the dodge into cover. No, don't do that. Yes, do that. That means I'm way less likely to generate momentum from you. Cool. All right, no, I think that's okay. Um, I don't think I'm going to attack you again anyway. What I think I'm going to do instead is I'm going to pass the ball to, to Skulk. Oh, you have four left. Oh, no. I do. I oh. do have four left. So I'm going to pass God. the ball to Skulk, and I'm going... So I've got my plus one kick, so I'm up to kick dice four. Yep. Down to three because I'm engaged. Correct. But I'm going to bonus time because I don't trust things. Nope, that's... <sighs> dice so are cubes of hatred. I pass to Skulk. Oh, oh. oh. So we get the pass. There it is. Pass goes to Skulk. Um, I'm going to make Skulk make a four-inch dodge from a successful pass. Ugh. And then we have three left. What is three left? Three I'm sure that's is, something important is, uh, for some reason. It's is Reverie, I believe, isn't it? So we will spend three influence then to use Reverie on Skulk. Do you want to sprint a bit further than you would normally be allowed and get right close to the goal? Um, I don't want to get a counter charge. I know that much. Oh, yeah. So I've got to be careful of that. My, my counter charge lanes are not good with the push that you gave. That's on, that's on, uh, that's on the chicken. Him, right? Yeah. Okay. So... I just want to measure the seven for as far as I can move, basically. So, like, this is an eight, I know, yeah. uh, but I can move seven. So I can get within range there, and your sort of your angle for catch. Really, it's really terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. Like, I have to. I think. I think my limitation is that's as far out as I can sprint. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't think I can reach tap in range, which just basically means I just need to get in range yeah. and have a go, really. Um, so we'll do that as far around Millstone as we can. Yep. And as we've just found out, you, can't, you won't be able to counter charge me because <laughs> the angles and stuff. Okay, so he takes his sprint. Okay. Okay, are you happy that that's going yes, around yeah, Millstone? Yes, yeah, yeah, that's uh, definitely ball path clear. So Skulk takes his uh, sexy shot with um, the other momentum point. And he's up to three kick dice because of uh, keep the ball moving. Yep. We need a four. And we get second goal. Second goal. Oh no, I need that activated. <laughs> what a jerk. <laughs> and, uh, and Skulk's not gone yet. I've seen, we've seen this before somewhere. Yeah. Um, so, that's another goal for the rat catches. That's another momentum point. I think I'm going to leave Skulk where he is though for now because he's not activated yet this turn. Yeah. Ooh. That was pretty cool. That was... I've used up a ton amazing. of time. A ton of time, but we're, you're we're very eight, far ahead. Yeah, we're up eight points, aren't we? Yep. Alright, so I need to kick the ball, Lance. Uh, let's hoof it up field. Because you've only got three on Skulk yes. and one on... Yeah, I'm, uh, that's the bulk of my influence gone now. Yeah. But there's another goal. Yeah. Eight, nine, ten. So there. And let's see. <coughs> this command, don't land on Bonesaw. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, he's activated this turn, but yeah. Direction three. Good. Distance one. So That's not great. Plops there. I mean, I think it's still too far for Skulk to go and get it. Oh, Tate's going to get it. <laughs> Ridiculous. Sure, sure. Yep, yeah, nope. Um, right. Tate's kick is three. Good. Oh, the chicken should have an influence as well. Huh? Oh, that's a chicken's influence. Does, does Piper have a knockdown? Uh, he, he does, but it's on five, so it's quite high up. Just thinking of getting the chicken <laughs> to get the ball. Yeah. Um, is he? Yeah, you should be within six, right? Uh, well, actually, yeah, easy. Six to walk and then the pass to. Yeah. Pass to three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, the thing is, I I'm, even with the part and blow dice, I'm, because I'll be up to six dice, 
because of the cover, I'll be very unlikely to get that knocked down. I've just got, I've got a few things in my, in my mind of what I can do. Yep. Um, how fast is Skulk? Skulk's 5'7", and he's got a two inch man of his own. But you've got to remember as well, he's got a double, double dodge. dodge on two. Yeah. He's tack six. <clears throat> Defense three and one, isn't he? For Skulk, he's yeah. four and one. Four and one. Um, back up to six health? He's up to six health, yes. Let's see if I can charge, crush that. Oops, we pushed you away. Yeah, mm -hmm. you'll charge, crush that. Sorry, everybody. Mm -hmm. Pick up the ball, do some damage. I think I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so uh, take this bit of charge, crush this on the way. Sad face. So, where's Tater's two damage out of interest? I'm just thinking about it's on two. defensive stance. And yeah, no, he's just, just let him die. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I consider it for a minute, but it's not worth it. I'm just back earlier. Yeah. So he's about there. Yep. Yeah, he's at the max of two, isn't he? Yeah. Has the ball. Yep. The ball. That's three for Tater. Uh, so two, four, four. Five basic plus four for the charge, and then one from a friend. Yep. Uh, fives? Yes. One, two, three, four will be. How much health have you got left? Uh, only six, and you've six. got five in charge as well. Yeah, I'll do two moments of damage, five in charge. Okay, so it's going to put three onto Thresher. It does put but three onto Thresher. Probably fine. I don't even have a pen. That's how confident I was of not taking damage. That's probably the one I was using. Thing. So yep. Bone Saw's down to one health now. Yep. Uh, and I'll hit him again. Yep, so you're on six nice, I think. Yep, six nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. We get a full seven dice. <laughs> Learn to count, Giblin. Two momentous damage, which yep. takes him out, so puts me on three momentum. Yes, so bounce balls out again. I shall unsnap the ball and snap it onto Thresher. Seems reasonable. Just to get it a little bit further away from, from your me. dudes. From me in general. Yep. Uh, okay. So for Ronan, whilst you were doing stuff there, Farmer's got another takeout, so he's 8-4. So what momentum are you on now? Like 3 or something? I'm on 3, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think you've got that ball way too far away from, from Skulk now to be able to do much with it. So I think I'm just going to... Try and generate some? Yeah, get some momentum up at this point. Um, and there's not terribly many ways of doing that. I mean, Skulk's got plenty of options. I just want to try and make use of the one that I've got on yeah. Graves as well. Um, leave Peck alone? No. <laughs> <laughs> Simply. Uh, so he's going to take a jog. Graves is going to take a jog. Um, and then we've got the tag along from Squeak. Mm -hmm. And he's just going to make his attack. Uh, one attack against uh, yeah. Peck. So Such we've got... Base dice. Yeah. Attack five. Up by one for friend. Down by one for cover. Mm -hmm. Nothing for fives. Uh, three. All right then. How much health has, the, has he got? Six. Hmm. No, I'll just do a, a single momentous push, to be honest, I'm not I'm too fast, because okay. it gives you pain response as well. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, I, no. No? No. no. Uh, and I'm probably leaving you there. No, I'll bring you out of the cover. Okay. Bring you out of the cover, I'm going to bring you into here. Uh, right. And then back to you. Hmm. Uh, Harrow's just going to walk to base contact here. Yep. Skulk's got poised, by the way. Oh, that's fine. Yep. <laughs> by an attack. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll use my poised. It's there. Yep. yep. Uh, Team two. Should match for the goal, but oh well. Uh, five. Yeah. Six dice. Uh, fours and one. Uh, yes. That's a knockdown. Oh, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> no, no poise for me Roger, then. It didn't matter. Yep. Uh, points of momentum. Where was that thresher? I know, I know, right? Jerk. <laughs> so you've got Jack Straw. Jack Straw and the bear guard. Yeah, it's not, it's not too bad for. Uh, no. It's not too bad for. Uh, Skulk. I think Pilar's just going to continue to people, wander. People up. screaming, Grave Digger, Grave Digger. I know, I know. But the thing is, I'm. 
Actually, yeah. Yeah, that would have been. Because <laughs> Skulk could have Skulk. done some more damage there. I still don't think I would have killed him. Defense five. Not going to hit that Mementus too very much. You Well, yes, no, that's fair. I missed that. That's me being silly. I hadn't thought about that. Um, too goal focused, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Forgetting uh, you can do that. Yeah. So I think we'll just move. Uh, we'll just move Palage up. Her base job of six, uh, and then at the end of activation, um, Cloak of Rats triggers, so you can choose snared or three damage on Jackstraw. Oh. <laughs> Which would you like? Snared or three damage? Well, I'm super fast, so I'll go snared. Okay. That's her. Is that done? She has, she's, she's only a one inch melee, though, isn't she? She's, she's only a one inch melee, yes. Just Cloak of Rats is a two inch thing. Yeah. Uh, I don't really mind the whole not having harvest markers this turn. I uh, want some uh, fact. What <coughs> positives do I have here? I'm using that one, so maybe momentum doesn't matter so much to me. Uh, in which case, the chicken will activate. <coughs> Leave. <laughs> Both. Are you taking part in blows, is he? Yeah. Sure. Maverick. You just you just rubbing it in my face now that I should I should've, should've absolutely braved. should have grave digged him. Yep. Okay, so uh, so it's six you dice. Pipers first. Yeah, six dice for Piper. Um, I, there's obviously no gang ups here. It's just the it's just the cover that I've got to be careful. Uh, One, two, be aware three, four. Of. Wow. Four, nearly the knockdown. Uh, that'll be two damage. Do I get pain response to that? Yeah. We need to. Uh, I, it's attack or character play. So we're yes, assuming... technically yes. Uh, okay. I'm pretty sure that that one's on an errata list. To okay. be done because uh, I won't it, it doesn't interact properly yeah. with how he's it's got, supposed to work. Yeah. Um, and then we've got another six dice from Graves again because you'd have had cover. Yeah. Then you took the pine block. Uh, there'll be nothing from Graves, so I just took two damage. Yes. All right. Then I'm going to buy my attack. Okay. So uh, one, two basic plus two for friends. So uh, looking for threes and one. Yes. He's on the floor. And we'll take one momentous damage. Over to you. Okay. Uh, so we've got Squeak. Squeak's not going to be close enough to really help anybody out here, but I still I don't want to go with Skulk just yet. I kind of want to see how things unfold with Jack Straw. So I think we'll just waddle up some more here. We're just going to. Now that Thresh has moved away from the rest of his team, we're just kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> he's coming back. He's coming, he's, he's coming <laughs> flying back. I'm sure he will. I'm sure he will. Um, all right. I'm snared. <coughs> yes. I did forget I was snared. I'll spend the momentum to remove conditions. Reasonable. So if I end my activation engaging her, I get hurt again, don't I? Take three damage, yes. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can move to get two inches away there. Out of two of her. Yep. Okay, so we're just going to... Jog to here, in base to base, trapped you in. Oh, No leaving for you. And spending an influence to buy the attack. Yep. So t a mighty attack three up to five. Yep. Still not down, so threes and one. Yep. No momentum can get generated from this, but uh, let's see what we do. We do one damage. Okay. And again, one damage. Unlucky. Should have just thrown the... Yes things. Yes. Well, I was expecting you to do that, you see, because yeah. then I could save Skulk for like sprinting, sprinting over. Sprinting around. Yeah. But right. but alas, not to be. So you've gone around in there, so I can't can't really get out of there, can yeah. I? And my highest, my lowest push rather is on five hits. Doesn't Ooh. look like I'm going to get that. Goody. So he's going to uh, just forfeit his movement. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we're just going to have to hit somebody. So he's got a def five here, def five on the chicken, and then a three. Is it three or three and one or just three? three. Yeah. So I think it's going to be Harrow, isn't it? So we'll hit Harrow. Mm -hmm. We've got four dice. Is he standing up? Just standing up. Yeah, yeah just four for hitting my move. Oh, oh! I'll counter attack. Because you can put my harvest marker. You can put the harvest marker down. Plant the seeds. Touche. Uh, so threes. So two hits. That'll be uh, a double momentum dodge. Obviously, I can't cool. go anywhere because I'm trapped. That's but I get easy. the momentum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fours and one. Yep. We'll get one to me. With three. I'll take one damage, sow the seeds. Oh, fancy. Best counter attack. And should place it. Oh, it doesn't matter. The, the Reapers have left. Yeah, they've left the building. Mm. And they're going to knock the clap back onto yep. me. So I'm going to hit Harrow again. Mm -hmm. 
get some momentum. Another two hits, just another two moment, uh, no, momentous double dodge. Yep. Uh, for another momentum point. And then last one, hit her again. Uh, yes, again, so another, well, that's actually two momentous damage, but you've got like the heal health the thing heal. on your episode. It'll just come back. And yeah. two double momentous dodge, because yeah. it's kind of irrelevant. Um, and then you are three momentum. I'm on three, you're on five. I was thinking of healing Skulk, but the damage is kind of mostly over here, and I'd like to be two up for when we do the initiative in a minute. Yep. So I think I'm going to leave him as he is. Okay, no. What's health is he on? He's on ten. He's on ten now. Yeah. Okay. All right. Is that the end of turn? End of turn, yeah. So, so once again, some cleanup. So, three. So these game plan cards now get discarded. Discarded, yep. Now, you should keep it a separate discard pile for, for each player. Yep. Uh, because what happens if the game happens to go past sort of five, I think it's five or six turns, um, and you run out. Of, if you run out of game plan cards in your hand, you just pick up your discard pile and play them again. So yep. it's important you keep a discard pile for each player. Okie doke. I'm just going to reset my base influence. Yep. Uh, and then we're going to draw one. Uh, I so I'm, I'm two up, right? Correct, yes. I know which card I'm going to play. Yeah. Do, 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 do. I like how your guys have all lined up like a street, like, dance off at me. <laughs> yeah, it's not, definitely not intended that way. No. Definitely not intended that way, but it just seems to have occurred. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Let's go for something a bit funky. Mm. Okay, so, ready? Yes, yep. So I've gone for a plus five. Oh, wow. Okay, I've gone for plus four. Okay, so uh, I'll, I'll win the initiative because I've got more momentum as well. So yep. I've got a total of ten. And I've gone for, go for the knees. Choose one friendly non-captain model that is currently on the pitch. The chosen model gains plus one attack. Um, I'm you can choose, choose one of mine if you want. I choose pet. Friendly model. Oh. <laughs> so I could either go for Skulk, uh, but the thing is, he's so unlikely to hit that push to get out there, he's going to need some help. So I'm actually going to put it on Graves, make him attack six for the turn. Nice. And token for it? Yes, indeed. Ooh. Um, and that's me. What did your card do? Uh, each time a friendly model activates within eight inches of the pitch, I didn't want to measure it, but let's make sure. Yes. Eight inches of the edge of the pitch. Of the edge of the pitch. Um, the friendly model gains shadow like. Oh, so he's coming back in. Yeah. Uh, no positives for uh, influence, though. Okay, okay. Uh, and I didn't really t mind too much about mine because I've got two yeah. goals, so I, yeah. I've got some extra influence this yeah, point. Thanks, thanks for rubbing that in. <laughs> <laughs> so back on the clock, yep. uh, whenever you're ready. And I'll kick go. off. I'm going to go first, by the way. Okay. You uh, sure? Yeah, I'm, yeah. Yeah. Pretty sure. Yeah. Pretty sure. That's scary. <laughs> um, not that I can do a lot about it. So we'll dump that four onto Veteran Graves. And we're going to dump three onto Squeak. And three onto Squeak. Three onto Squeak. Oh, and then we're gonna no, four, you're going to squeak at me and make me chuck onto, away. Onto, onto Pelage. And that's the thing. I might be breaking my rule of always putting three on Piper, you know. Um, oh. But I've got four left. I can still put four onto him. Oh, Bonesaw needs to come back. That is true. Thank you. No. <laughs> I mean, Aww. tempting, you'd stay there, but then sold the ball. And I don't want that to happen. Uh, it's the fast ground, though. I know, it's ground. very enticing. But no, he's going to come back here and just sort of jog up to there. Okay. And just get in the cover. So I start with one momentum. Uh, probably come a little bit further back on the off chance. I've, I'm not measuring that, but it scares me somewhat because you pass the ball and. No, I'm going to measure it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to measure it, yeah. Yeah, you pass the ball away and, and charge. it would be less than that because you haven't got half marker, but whatever. Something like that's fine. Okay. Look. So, yeah, that other four I think is just going to go on Piper because I think it'd yep. be odd not to give Piper any. My chicken heels. So my chicken heels from Viora. Yes. I'm going to pull these both up for influence because yes, no indeed. Reaper's going to get the benefit of them. Yep. Um, so I'll put you on to now for like 13, 14? Uh, I am 12 at uh, 2. So, four, so 14, yeah. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Oh. So got Shadow Like. Oh, yes. <laughs> got your 8. That's, that's fair. Eight. Eight. So with 2. Yeah, that's good. So we'll save that one, for, uh, unless you want to see mess with my plans. I mean, I might. You probably will. I'll give him the full five. Got options there. No one's knocked down a snared, thankfully. Uh, one, two, three, four, you. Two, three here. One and 
I love the chicken. Does get pain response when he's knocked down? When this model suffers damage from an enemy attack or character play, it may make a one-inch dodge. I'm not his greatest fan, if I'm honest. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's screaming grave digger that chicken. Yeah, no, I can I think I think um I think we've got a nice little trick again, maybe, because of tag along. Well I'm gonna go with uh so, uh before we get started, sorry, I just yeah. want to pause whilst people got questions sure. about these tokens. Sure. Uh, who have these tokens come from? Are they part of the product or are they an additional purchase from a license? So um, these tokens have been made by Frozen Forge. Okay. So um, as far as... Well, I don't want to comment on the deck itself because I actually don't know for sure. Okay. Uh, but I, I know that the tokens that we're playing with here have been made by Frozen Forge. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's, that's, that's enough. Yeah. People, people thought, because they've got a similar look to the previous token sets, yeah. people were just asking, oh, what do they come with? I just thought I'd clarify. Sure, that makes sense. The ones we're using are from Frozen Forge. Yes, and I, I believe, I believe like, there's, there's an option there for both of our licensees, um, so that Musumis can, can make some as well if they want yeah. to. Uh, so as I say, we're going to go with uh, Veteran Graves first. He's going to take a jog. Um, so he's got a five-inch jog. I'm just going to take this influence out for a second. Yep. I'm going to try and trap him in, you see. <gasps> uh, so we're going to walk oh, around and sort of walk around. Doing the same thing. Jack Straw, yep. And then once I've done that, you see, then I've got my tag along. tag along to try and pin him in. And I don't know if I'll have done yeah, it properly. Yeah, you will. It'll be close enough. Yeah. On a circle, as long as you've got four points, it's, it's pretty yeah. much guaranteed there. Yeah, seems all right, doesn't it? Cool. All right, at that point, um, we'll start swinging. Your rat's not going to try and eat my chicken, is it? Why have I got more there than I should do? Oh, that's, that's an influence. That's yeah. why. Cool. All right. Uh, yes, he might. <laughs> so we'll have an attack from Graves. So he's going to be uh, plus two attack up because he's got two uh, friends for gang up, but he's yep. got one crowding out. So he's, uh, but he's also got this plus one attack here. So we're a total of eight down to seven. Yep. Unless my math. I'll trust you. <laughs> correct me. So he's attacked five, basically. Yep. He's got one extra for the, uh, for the game plan. Mm -hmm. Two extra for friends. One down for crowd up. Yep. Uh, five. One fives. Two. That wasn't what I was looking for. Oh, no, it is. That'll do, yeah. So, a momentous one damage in Grave Digger. Oh, no. My car! I'll dodge an inch. It's <laughs> fair, it's fair. Um, make another attack. Yep. Uh, so, that fives. That's a Three. bit better. So, we can knock you down, um, but I kind of want to put some damage on you, but I think I need to knock you down. So, we'll, yeah, we'll do knock down and uh, bleed, because I can put another. I can oh, another wow. Okay. Seems. If it, uh, ooh, Does Millstone want it to add? Oh, no. Well, no, she four can't. inches. I think she's too far out for that. I don't think the bleed's going to matter. She hopefully. Is. Yeah, she's too far away for that. Yeah, hopefully it's not going to matter too much anyway. Okay. I'll put that on his influence point yep. in case it does. And then uh, it um, wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, um, yes, so it's knocked down and a GB result. So he's going to be triggering his character to play bleed, so he's knocked down and bleeding. Yep. Um, it's not momentous though. So buy another attack. Mm -hmm. Falls this time. Oh. That's better. One, two, three, four. Four. So how much health have you got left? Uh, five. Five. So we've got a momentous, two damage, double push. Yep. I don't need the, uh, don't need the double, the double push. Um, I've got a momentous point from it, so I'll yep. do another attack. Three, three health left. Yeah. Looking for five hits to get that take out here. But that's okay. I don't think he's going very far. No. One, uh, two, three. It's uh, looking for four, so I've got four. Oh, sorry, yeah. So I'll take a momentous, two damage, double yep. push. Oh, no. Again, not really needing the double push too much. Um, and then before the end of his activation, what we're going to do is we're going to flip over Graves' card. Oh. Because the small change we've make, we're going to make to Graves before he comes out for the rat catchers is that both of his... The, Quick, uh, run and kill his mic. <laughs> <laughs> both of the heroics on the back of Veteran Graves' card can affect Squeak, okay. just in the same way as they affect Val Swan, uh, which means we're going to target uh, Squeak with Packmaster. Uh, so it's... Uh, a heroic play, so it spends a momentum points, and he's going to get plus one damage when he if he makes any attacks. Oh, which might be useful, given that we're having a bit oh, of a fight. Oh, to heal. <laughs> yeah. That stays on in case he makes any counters or parting blows, etc. And then Graves, I think, is done. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh. So the goal is still there, which I kind of want to take, but I also don't want to take because it just gives it the game to you. Yeah. Uh, Oh, I also need to mark that uh, Grave Digger, don't I? Yes, you Grave Digger him. Uh, I don't see a but token there two, for that. Two doesn't bother me too much. But uh, what can you do, Tater? Mm. How much health does Squeak have? It was a lot, wasn't it's, it? Yeah, it's ten. It's quite a lot, actually. Get Defence. So he's defense three and armor one. Yeah. We've got his tag along that's been used as well. Mm -hmm. Got enough friends in there. 
there a token for that? Yeah, there is. Uh, sold earlier. It might have. It might have fallen on the floor. Um. Right. I think I'm going to go have Tater go in. So, what's the wording on Gravedigger? So Gravedigger, uh, if target enemy model suffers a taken out condition this turn, the friendly team gains an additional... Ah, so even if I take him out, you still get it. Correct. Damn. Just trying. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Charge in, two, three, needs to spike to do the extra one damage. Damn. Well, we're pretty sure there's a token for, for, for Gravedigger, but we can't find it just now, so I'm just going to mark it with one of these disease conditions, because we're not using that yeah, right yeah, now, that's fine. so we'll just yeah. mark Gravedigger with that. I don't uh, think I can save the chicken. Yeah, I'd hope not. <laughs> No, don't think I can. But uh, I'm still going to try my best to. Shadow like. Walk. Be on his face. It's okay, Ron. It's not there. I'm just going to start doing some damage. I just thought earlier, so it is it's somewhere around. Right? Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, so I assume, firstly, Taylor is out of eight. <laughs> uh, so he's going to charge. So he gets his. Oh, he doesn't get the shadow like he's out. Is he? No, he's out. Yeah. 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 Okay, so I'm going to charge to get within two inches of the rat. You charge in squeak, are you? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So he's going to defensive stance that. Ooh. Okay. Just on, just on the off chance you don't manage to wrap. So then you've got to choose between side him. Yeah. Side him march. Uh, not side him march. Sorry. Um, side him charge. Yep. And mow down. So uh, I'm five basic, plus four for the charge, yep. minus one for Graves, but then yep. plus two friends. Yes. in range of squeak. Yes. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah, knocked down, so I can't see him. Yeah, yeah. Five, four for charging, and then can I borrow two dice, please? Yes, you can. And then I'm defense four and I'm one yep. because I defensive danced. No, just one dice, some credit. <laughs> uh, fours and one. Yes. Who knew? Good, defense, oh. good defensive dance, I guess. Yeah. Yes, probably was. Uh, two will be two up to five momentous damage. Yep. That's half his health straight away gone. Yep. Did uh, it, did that clip graves as well? It does clip graves. He was engaging me. Okay. Uh, four. Uh, extra. So he's got five health left. He has five health left, yes. Back down to threes and one. You're on like tax seven, aren't you? Or six, is it? You've got two friends extra. Uh, I'm, on, I'm on tax six. Yeah. I'm just thinking whether I want to remove the conditions on the mm. chicken to get the extra dice. It will, no, because it'll block your line of sight. Oh, for that for yeah, Harrow. Yeah, so that makes yeah. sense. So I might as well heal the chicken eventually. Uh, hitting the little rat again. Yeah. Two, four, six. I will bonus time it. Okay. Uh, they miss. That one comes off. I'll take the uh, mow down. Yep, so Graves and... Yep, I've got uh, squeak and knock down. Yep, got some over here as well. One more there. Yeah, uh, yeah, just stay for there. So was that one? Uh, one more attack going in on squeak. So two's two and one now. Two's and one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because taking away your counter, your uh, yep. engagement. Yep. One and one. One, two, three, four. Ah, just missed it again. Uh, be two momentous damage. Okay. Momentum. Down to three health. Three, uh, and then I will heal the chicken. Mm. That's up to five. Yep. And you on what one momentum? Correct. Okay. I think it makes sense at that point for just to have Squeak go and try and just, just and try and, and try, and, try, off and, try and eat the chicken. Yeah. So yep. um, he's going to just forfeit his movement. <coughs> um, and he's going to buy an attack. So at this yes. point, we've got attack three. Well, actually, we should probably have thought about the numbers first, but whatever, yeah. we're going for it now. So we've got attack three. Yep. Um, we've got one friend in Skulk. Yep. But and minus three. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on fours. Fours. If he wants, it's two damage. You need to hit each time. Probably shouldn't have done that. I don't think it's the right move. Do you want, no. do you want, do you want to do something else? Fair. There. Good job, Tater. You saved it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Well, well Pelage. Save the Pe chicken. Pelage is there. No. I don't know if that's. I mean, I was going to say I don't know if it's worth it, but with the, with the uh, grave digger. With the grave digger, it probably is actually. Yeah. So the rat's still knocked down. Mm. Yes. So she goes in. 
she'll be engaged by two probably. Yeah. About one inch mate. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah, the chick is still not down, so Harrow still has line of sight. Yeah, so she'll be on she'll be on tack three four because of the gulk. And her Mentis two is on three hits. Which she's got a single doubt as well to use. It's so much effort for a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> a two point chicken. A two point chicken though, this is why this is why it might be worth it. Whatever. We're in, we're invested at this point quite clearly. So um <laughs> so uh Pelage is gonna go. Yep. So she's gonna jog until she's at the max of one. Okay. Uh, and I think, yeah, she's oh, going to engage Do, do, do you want to move in, like, a smidgen of one? Because if you do a damage, I'll dodge my little wiggle away. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. 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 May as well do that well. There-ish. Yeah. So I'll be engaged by uh, Jack Straw and Harrow. So it's, it's minus one, isn't it? Yeah. Minus one overall. So uh, attack four for the first attack. I think again, losing on clock here. Yeah, 11 minutes <laughs> I'm just, ahead. I'm just terrible at this. So uh, we need fours because you're knocked down. So. Okay, so two hits. So yep. we'll take the momentous singled out. Oh, okay. So six dice. And you've got so two. many tokens on the chicken. All the tokens on the uh, chicken. By an attack, that was also momentous. And we're up to six dice. Yep. Oh, uh, that's dear. Better. Wow, five take, hits. Take a momentous three. No. Pain response. Wiggle. <laughs> And he's on what two? Two health so left. By an attack. And we take a oh. moment, momentous two and take him out. Oh. And we've got ten points. He turns into. Uh, oh. Harvest Mocker. He does. Yes. He does. And we'll activate or we'll have it available now <laughs> for the counter charge. Yep. Makes sense. In fact. Okay, within <clears throat> two inches. Mm. Oh, God. Brain. <laughs> We can't place it that far. <laughs> no, yeah, break right within two. <laughs> you can sprint back to there. Well, you've also got the ability to pass and dodge and stuff yeah. on you as well. Maybe pass the millstone or something. I'm just thinking about getting the harvest marker in place for a. Don't fear. Don't fear. Yeah. Um, I think I can get it where I want it, be in here. Yeah. All the tokens right in the middle. Absolutely. It's exactly what we love. One uh, one? So Peck's gone now, Peck's right? Gone. Um, all those tokens that were on Peck have gone as well. Yeah. And that is two points because of Grave Digger. Correct. Correct. Uh, so she's got one attack left. Um, have you got that singled out? I think I've got that singled out. I picked that. Yes, it doesn't matter. Are you going to hit? Cheers. Um, and then we'll just do another attack on Jack's to Jack's draw because he's there, basically. Um, okay. Any response to that? No. So we're just up to attack five because we've got Skulk and then down by Hero again. Yep. Uh, five and zero. Uh, one, which is just a momentous dodge for some more momentum. Yep. Uh, I think I'm kind of, I'm wary of where he's going to come in, but I also want the Cloak of Rats, but the Cloak of Rats is not as important to me as that getting out of that Don't Fear the Reaper. Yeah. So I'm going to take that momentous dodge a little, a little bit, probably. Well, I, I might even still be able to still engage Harrow. Yeah, last move away. So yeah, this is mine now three damage or snare? Yeah, so both those two models, both of them take mm -hmm. snare uh, or three damage. Well, Harrow will take three damage as will. Uh, ooh. Yeah, Jack's will take it. Okay. As well. Which goes to your turn. Yeah. Uh, right. How much health's left on? So Very there's quite people. a few damaged people now. Uh, so Graves has got 11, mm -hmm. Skulk's got 10, Squeak's got 3. And you've got how much momentum? Six. Wow. Hum, 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 hum. Ugh. Getting that's going to be tough. Considered healing squeak, but I think if Thresher really wants to take really it out, to kill it. He, he just will. Yeah. Um. Something like a sprint pass, maybe. Oh, the, 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 there's, there's that option. So there's also stuff that happen later, but that, that can happen regardless. Yeah. Because they're not going to die. I hope. Well, most of my most of my heavy damage is gone. I've got a bit left yeah. in squeak, but but you know he's suffering from <laughs> from three two inch melee zones at the moment. Yeah. Is what he's suffering it's from. Drowning in melee. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> yeah. So I think I'm going to go with Thresher. Mm. I will shadow like. Thresh with shadow like that. Yeah. Into here. Uh, a sprint would get me six to here. Seven 
8 puts me dead in there. Mm. Within two, within two, outside of two. I you probably, probably tighten that yeah, a you little bit. Nudge it a little bit. Yeah. And then you got your within two and a half mark, aren't you? Yeah. I am, yeah. That's nasty. So I'll do that. I'll sprint yep. to that point. Yep. Keeping the ball for now. Mm -hmm. So Tater ends up here. Yeah, yeah. I thrash up, thrash up. Yep. With the ball. Uh, I'll start off with the don't fear the so the squeak immediately gets taken out because yep. only have three health left. So plus one to the farmers running. Uh, Tater takes what was it, three damage, isn't it? Yeah, three. Two, three. Graves goes down to how much? Uh, eight. eight. So that's eating the harvest marker as well. Yep, and uh, and Piper is going to go down to eleven. Eleven. All right. Uh, my first attack will go on. Your man on the ground with yep. all the melee zones on him. Yep. Uh, so two melee zones. So, so he's two two because he's not going. Ah. Defense two and armor two. Is his uh, legendary an aura or a pulse? It's a pulse six inches. How many attacks have you got to make now? You got about four, haven't you? I've got four attacks and then yeah. three from millstone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to use my legendary sure. because it seems like a turn that I need to use it because I, oh, I, I think I'm just going to lose it. Okay. Uh, so tax. Nine basic, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, plus two for friends, one, two, and looking for twos and two? Yes. Uh, that's, and then two armor comes off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so full playbook, I'll take the four momentous damage. Yep, she's got four health left. By another attack, and I would get, oh, I do actually have some damage on me. Another one. Yeah, because uh, you had the scything, scything charge before, didn't you? Yes, yeah. And that's a miss. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have wrapped. Mm -hmm. um, the four momentous damage for the takeout. Yep, he's gone. So four. Uh, and with the wrap, I'll do a dodge. I'll just stay where I am. Mm -hmm. Then I'll buy an attack on Piper. Mm -hmm. So eight dice because you're in cover. Two. Yes. Four. Mm -hmm. six, defense five. Eight. Yep. And heal one from earlier. Uh, fives. He's not liked fives today. No. Oh, no we got well, three. He did, oh, he he did, did three. He did okay. Uh, yeah, that's actually a knockdown dodge. Okay. So momentum five. One last swing. Again. Oh, now do I want to leave the ball there? Hmm. Because Piper hasn't gone yet. Piper's not gone. No, probably not. Let's <laughs> oh, be a big brave boy. Pass it to Jack Straw. Dodge four inches. <laughs> Where's that chicken when you need it? Mm. Uh, How fast is Piper? It doesn't matter. You've got your dilemma. <laughs> yeah, so I've got a haunting melody to help me. Um, pass the Jack Straw sixes. Hmm. What a pain you are, Piper. He's a, a cousin of the mortician, so... Yeah. Good job. I'm, I'm, I'm happy I caught myself before I rolled the dice for that. Yep. Uh, yep. It's going to be... Uh, what's it, your tackle's on one. It is. One inch melee. Yes. Gonna pass it to Millstone. Okay. Hopefully. Yes. Yes, you are. Do you want to dodge? How fast are you? <laughs> so I've got the six eight plus the I've got six eight move plus yeah. I've got the haunting melody to drag me two inches back. Or, and, or, and then your additional bit. And I've, then I've got the hero uh, heroic as well. No, I'm just gonna bank on the momentum. Fair. It's fair. And you're on six as well now, right? Six momentum. Yeah. 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 So it's momentum races tight. Okay, but Millstone's also what, tax six now? Correct. Yeah. And shadow like for now. Yeah. Well, here's the thing, I can't leave Piper there because Millstone could probably just come in and kill him. Yep. At this point. I mean she needs to pass the ball, to be fair. How far away is she? Uh, so well she, she gains shadow like because of wing back. Oh okay, yeah, so yeah. So and then could walk so she's got a threat of eight. Yeah. Yeah. She she Close. need to she need to charge probably. Yeah. But still I think that's that's looking dangerous at that point. 
Because she wraps quite easily as well. Yes. Yeah. With tack six, seven, with Thresher. Mm. Mm. Not a fan. It's all getting tense. <laughs> yeah. Have you switched to Clark? No. I had... I had uh, for you guys in chat, Legendary has been used already. Yes. Yeah, it was used Probably. on turn... Oh, and yours has been used as yeah, well. Yeah, it was, yeah, turn one or two. It was quite early on. Uh, if you're looking for some advice, guys in chat saying heroic thresher away. Yeah, yeah, that's a way to do it. I've also got to find a way to get through Tater's melee zone as well. Yeah, Tater and Arrow. Um, I mean, was was um, when you checked that eight inches, was she within eight inches of Piper? Because that means I could use my haunting, use haunting melody first. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, shame. just shy. That's shame. So I, I would need to charge to get you. Or yeah. Pass it. But. Yeah. But it also means I can't haunting melody you straight yeah. away. So I need to I need to figure out what else I'm doing first. Yeah, I could I could heroic thresh her away. Then I've got to walk up sort of through Tater. Yeah. And the thing is, I'm concerned that if I just do that, let's say for instance I move Thresh away and then I've got to get up to about here. Yeah. At which point if I haunt a melody, you just pick me to move, then I've got to take, take a part a in blow, blow yeah. which isn't great. I might even much rather perhaps just jog up to here and then heroic you in. Yeah. That might be better, perhaps. If you're just outside of the eight, that should work. Yeah. But then I mean all of the melee zones. You're in, you're in, I, mean, in... I mean all of the melee zones then. Yeah. Tough. Tough one. Five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm... Yeah, the clocks. Yeah, it's a difficult one. And there's no one really wounded too much, is there? So damage isn't. No, but see, everyone's taken at least three. Oh, um, I just need two points from somewhere. Har Harrow's going to be healing that up. Just need two points from somewhere. Alternatively, I can just try, try, try hitting people and just get some momentum, try and win first for next turn. Yeah. So I could, I, could heroic, I could heroic you away yeah. and then just move and just sort of hit somebody. <clears throat> Which isn't the worst, I think. No. Okay. <laughs> Ironically, no point in haunting Melody on Jack Straw. She's like, yeah, move yeah. Jack Straw closer. <laughs> 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 cool. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, spend momentum to stand up. Okay. To clear conditions. So I think I need to do that. Uh, what we're then going to do is heroic uh, Thresher to move him. Okay. Go away. Aww. And then we're going to jog. All over to here. Yeah. Pin you in a bit. That's the safest, I think. I think so. Might not be the best, the best play, but I'm also I'm not I'm not sure there's a there's an easy way through that. No. Um, especially because you know, there's armour on the other end as well and stuff. Cool, so we'll buy an attack. We've got base attack of five, we've got two friends got up to two seven. Friends, yeah. So uh, one, fives. Two fives, yeah. One. one so that'll be a damage. No! <laughs> Three, Three hits. So that'll be a momentous two. Momentous two. He has four and reanimate. Uh, one, so just one damage. Good. Three left. Maybe not for momentum then. No. No. Nothing. Well, I'm, it's only fair from your dice right before yeah. as well, to, to be honest. Uh, so, I've got Haunting Melody, but I'd, why? It's not helping me at this point. I think that's kind of it for now. Cool, yeah. All right. Um, <coughs> no more influence on the table for you. And these two to activate. Yes. yes. Um, all right, I'll go with Jack's drawing and just heal <coughs> himself. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, that's on me. Just leave that on me for a bit. Uh, your next activation? I'm trying to think if I had done momentum properly then. I think I was on five. I spent to clear. Yeah. And I got one momentum. You got result. one from the two momentous damage, yeah. Okay. I think I was on something like that. Uh, I did the heroic as well. So I went from six down to four. Yeah, six down to four, back up that to five. It. Yeah, that sounds right. So I've got bone saw. I <sighs> you're on five as well. You can generate three more with millstone. So I think uh, bone saw is just going to heal straight away. So we yep. don't have any like super easy takeouts at the top of next turn. Okay. Okay. And then he's just going to drag up the pitch. He's Getting got some more cover up here. Nice, you done. Uh, and then you got all the eights. Oh yeah, sorry. No, can't heal him. Okay. Uh, and then back onto you. Um, I'm going to stack it up. Probably uh, he would have. Let's do attack. Attack seven up to eight. <coughs> No, uh, he's going to tool up 
Millstone? Yep. Uh, yeah. Tin up there, make sure I'm not in four if I'm not cheating. Yeah, easily. Uh, so tool syrup, and then we'll move. Oh, I'm going to take the extra damage from your lady, but I'm going to try and move so I get my base. I don't think I'll be able to do it, keeping you in. Do you want to trap uh, Skulk? I'm, I'm trying to, but because you're not in base contact here, you've actually just you've got a path out regardless. Sure. So I will just leave outside of two of your lady, so okay. I don't take all the damage. Yep. yep. All right, and then over to you. So I've got Skulk. Yeah. So oh, Skulk is also going to spend uh, to heal back up to full. Yep. I think he's about to take some pain, yeah. which he's not a fan of. <clears throat> um, and then he's going to jog a little bit, just sort of to the to the edge of all these melee zones. Yeah. Into Tate's? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no. Although, maybe, because, I'd, no, no. <laughs> but the thing is, if you put Harvest Marker down... Harvest Marker down, he gets the counter charge ready for next turn. Yeah, but no, I think uh, I think that's just fine. Uh, yeah. Okay, so my knockdown is on three. So I'm pretty happy to get that one. So, uh, she's going to go. She's got a Shed-like. To here. Ronan, are you happen to have a stopwatch? I'm going to release the ball. Uh, yeah. It might matter soon. There, snap to Tater. Uh, not engaged, so I could still do that. Um, and the other one just then walk in and stop buying attacks. Yeah. Into base. Oops. Pushed you away. I've got my poised still. Yeah, I'm hoping to knock you down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm going to use it because it's free. It's free, but you might as well. Yeah. Uh, I'll bonus time just to push my dice higher. Yep. So six basic plus two friends plus the bonus time. Yeah. So for fours and one. I think you got it there. I think just about. Oh, I got wrapped. Taking the one for armor. Yeah. 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 Okay. So one, two, three, four. Yep. Will be the knockdown with a yep. wrap onto the one, momentous one, which goes up to two. Yep. So he's knocked down. I've got him over it. Yeah. Cool. Next attack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Threes and one. Yep. Oh. Comes off. One, two, three, four. Will be four momentous damage and two momentous damage. Ugh. So that put me up to eight. I'm gonna use your dice. Got six left. Do it again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six base, two friends, and a bonus time. Ooh, I don't think she's done it. Nope, four momentous damage. You're on two health. Two. Uh, so all of those actually healed me, didn't they? So you just one of those. So I've got three health back. So yeah, that's three. three actually, I'm not any. Yeah. Okay. End of turn. End of turn. Wow. So you're up by a I'm lot. On, I'm on eight. Yeah, you're. So I'm you're, on positive six. Yeah, you're pretty good here. Mm. The thing is, that gives me quite a lot of freedom here to just pick pick what the things that are useful for. Yeah, you. good, a good thing. I should put my harvest marker down, but I forgot. Oh well. I think <clears throat> I've chosen mine because okay. I want to show it off. I wanted to get some use out of it. So Ready? I'll be on. Yep. I've gone for positive two with so, minus one influence. So what does that put you on to? It puts you on to uh, ten. 11, I believe. I think I'm 12 basic. Three, no, 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 four, no, 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 yeah, no. Um, in, oh. uh, initiative. Yes, puts me on to 10. Interesting. Have you got a plus 7? I did, yeah. Oh, no! Because uh, I, the thing is, normally this is a, not a great time to spend a 7 because you're so, so likely to win the initiative, yeah. but I actually want the effect. What's the effect? So this is Seize the Initiative. This is one of the plus 7 initiative cards. Uh, starting with the player that has the initiative, which will be you. Yeah. Um, okay. Both players... Uh, oh, no, well, no it might not be. Uh, that's not a good be. point, yeah. The thing is, I was playing this card thinking you were just going to go first. Just going to go first, Because yeah. then I get the better effect out of it. Anyway, yeah. I'll keep reading. Uh, starting with the player that has the initiative, uh, both players can choose one friendly model to immediately make a 4-inch dodge. Ooh. So both of us are going to get to do it. It starts yeah. with the initiative. Now, the thing is, it's this card's really good when you're going first, because as long as you use it in the right situation, you can move a goal scorer close to the goal, for yeah. instance, or something. I'll bring a player back into the game. But the opponent gets to move a model as well. So if you're chasing a model, they can just move it just away. away. This is the whole looking at dilemma. In a weird situation, a lot of the uh, this card's almost better to use when you're not going first, because yeah, I you, get to... You get to respond to where they've gone. Yeah, I get to dodge second. Um, but... Weirdly, because you've chosen a one, <laughs> we're actually going to tie for initiative, which means yeah. we roll to see who could go first. So. Okay. Oh, that's not strong. I got one. Oh, still got it. You have the choice. Well, I didn't expect that yeah. at all, to be honest. Okay, what, did you, what card did you play, by the way? Uh, I've played Kick and Whilst They're Down, because you've got someone on the ground now. Uh, friendly squaddy models gain Shove the Boot in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it is, it's plus two, yeah. so it's quite a low momentum, uh, but minus Cut, one influence. No, low initiative, so. yeah. Low initiative, sorry. Yeah. yeah, so it's quite a low initiative, low low influence card, but you get yeah. a massive effect from it. Yeah. Especially in farmers and brewers. And what's shove the booting again for people? Uh, it is plus one damage when you're attacking the model, suffering the knockdown condition. Yeah, so it's going to be nasty. So uh, so I am, I reckon I 
Where's the ball? Ball's on Tater. I think I have to go first. Yeah, I makes... think you're just going to... What points are you on now? Seven or, seven or eight? Uh, I am on seven. You're on ten. Yeah, I think you're just going to annihilate my team. Three, four... If I don't finish this quickly. Six, so I'm going to have to try and go first. Minus one. So I'm on three, four... Eight. I'm on 11 influence this turn. Yeah. So I'm going to have... You need to harvest markers. Graves come back on the pitch over here. So he's going to come back on there. He's going to get basically seven inch movement because of the fast ground. So that's six. And he's going to get an inch extra. Yeah. So he's going to have the back of him on the halves marker. Uh, on the halves marker. Onto the fast ground. Squeak will do the same. Ending on the fast ground to get the double benefit. Yeah. So he's going to get on the fast ground as well. And he's going to go up to about there. Yeah. Cool. So, and then we're back on the clock for an influence, aren't we? Uh, yep. So when did the dodges happen? Sorry. That was actually meant to happen before then. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, that's, yeah. My that's maintenance phase. I got ahead of myself. Yep. So it's in, basically when you resolve the text effects of these cards as soon as you find out who's going first. So we okay. should have done that before these players came back on. Yeah. Um, so I have to move a player, obviously. So I reckon to try and get the ball back, it's one of two things. It's either Bonesaw <laughs> to move up, but then you just move Tater away, or, or Piper to just try and get him out of this situation he's in here yeah. and free him up and see what you do then, basically. Uh, and I think that's going to be it. I'm going to move Piper. Okay. So, because it's a dodge, I don't take any parting blows. Okay. I'm just going to get him right out in the open here. So I've got lots of options of what to do. Uh, and then you get to move the player. I'm going second, so I've got the momentum points. You do. Hmm. That's not base to base, that's sad. And also because this happens straight away after determining the initiative, this technically happens before these players have come back on. Yeah, so they're not so, eligible. Yeah, so, so they wouldn't be eligible yeah. for this dodge. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to move Millstone round, getting base to base with you there. Seems reasonable. This is my best chance at getting in your way a little just bit. Be a bit annoying in general. Yeah. Okay, she's not engaging Pelage there or anything, is she? No. <laughs> yeah. One yeah. Between. Cool. All right, so right. now we're on to influence, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Off we go. Well, I've made my intention clear. So yep. I'm going to put six onto, uh, <laughs> onto Piper. Um, uh, Skulk's going to have one on the off chance he lives. I'll have some on Pelage because she's not taken a lot of damage yet. Um, who's left? So, so. Oh, why doesn't Pet get shoved the boot in? <laughs> then I'll have three on Bonesaw on the off chance he can actually do something. Oh, we've got another one. Uh, no. So for me, uh, five onto Thresher, three on Millstone, uh, and three on. Uh, that's a bit excessive. Where's Millstone's uh, knockdown? Uh, three hits, attack four base. Okay. And the chicken will come back on. Yeah. Alright, ready to go? Yeah. Boop. So Piper's gonna go. Yep. He's going to try and hit Millstone. Do you want to do anything about it? No, not yet. Let's see if I can roll high, basically. Three's and one. Yeah. No okay, good. so fair enough. I got it. So uh, take two off for armor. No, no, so only one off for armor. An errata. An errata happened. So uh, three hits. So I could take two damage, but why? I'm not trying to try and kill here. here. So I just want a, a double push, basically. Uh, oh. So, and you didn't counterattack, did you? No, no. So, no. so I'm going to push you away. This, I'm saving the counterattack for um, Tater, basically. Sure. Sure, that makes sense. Um, then just here again, try and get some more momentum. Mm -hmm. And I need to disengage myself. So I've got an initial die for Pelage this time. The reason one. Good. So that double momentum uh, push again. Yep. Go away. Get out. <laughs> yes, literally get out. You can. No, uh, yeah, no you're not going to engage Pelage. Uh, and then. Haunting Melody onto Tater. What do you want to do? Do you want to jog towards me or am I going to jog towards you? Um, Remember it's towards. Yeah. Council's friendly, so then I have the choice of a parting blow if mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. wanted. If I take you that far. If you take me that far, yeah. Um, I'll go towards you. Okay. I want you to have as much distance between you and the goal as it's possible. Fair. It's fair. So... I'm just going to be wary of that two on the edge of Thresher. What's Thresher's tackle on out of interest? I think it's two. So that's yeah, about two. three inches of move. It's not quite got you there yet. I've got you my heroic to move you as well. Yeah. It's on two, you say, for a tackle. Correct, yeah. The thing is, I could also just come and hit 
thresh it. Like if you if you happen to take the ball there, don't know if that's oh, a yes, good, yeah. good plan or not. Probably not. Yeah, come closer to Thresher. Nah, it's fine. Whatever. Yeah, take the pint and blow. Whatever. Let's see what happens. Ooh, ooh, okay. Ye yeehaw. One, two, three, four, five. So we six dice. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Threes. No, fours, sorry. Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, take a knockdown. A seven spot flying. Yep. Yeah. You could, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll do that. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Uh, direction. So direction's one towards my goal, isn't it? Yep. So it's this way. Direction. Got me a one. One. Distance. Two. Okay, that's it's not that bad. Still all right. That's not that bad. <laughs> it's still good. It's still good. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> okay, and he's knocked down now, isn't he? And he is. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I think I, I can. I th th uh, yes, I do. Yeah. Now I think that's okay for me. I think I. I think I can just sprint and shoot at that point. Uh, yes. So yeah. Go an inch for the ball. Should have definitely just tackled there. A V. I'll be. Here-ish. Inch for the ball. Sort of six back that way. Yeah, massively in range. So I think that's just the straight way play, to be honest. I think if it had gone further, we'll talk about what sort of stuff yeah, 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 It's gone yeah. kind of massively run out of time, even though it should be on my time. Um, so a sprint. Yep. An inch there-ish to get the ball. Pick up the ball. There's mm -hmm. no counter charge on because you're knocked down. And there's no carvest markers. And that. So, and then we just sprint seven inches back up to the goal. Can you measure the, the tap-in for me? Oh, Perkins, oh, go, 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 I've got, go, go. I've got a minute. I've got, got a minute once you turn out. And then getting out of the two there. You've got a minute to finish what you're doing, basically. Yes, yeah. Okay. At which point I'll pull up Pay the Piper on the off chances misses, because it's the last thing I can do. Yep. Um, then shot on goal. And then momentum. With a bonus, bonus time. Bonus time. And then an influence for the shot. Yep. Goal. Yep. There you go. Well Game played. So, so it ends 12 7. Yeah, so the, the, the thing there about you taking that parting blow is with yep. the knockdown, if it scatters really, really far, I think I had the option to um, to go and collect the ball and then yep. potentially still be in range to Just say, pass it to to say to, 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 yeah, stand up, stand up, skulk and reverie him or something like that. I think there's yep. still some options on the table for me. Yep. Maybe even Bonesaw at that range. Yeah. Possibly. Um, what's the, the tackle and then. I'd have to, on the counter-attack, get the knockdown dodge. Yeah, to yeah. To come away. And uh, my, my answer to that one was, if you take the tackle and it's on Thresher, I've still got my heroic, got heroic play. to yeah. try and move him back up towards the goal, yeah. standing base to base contact with you and pray, yeah. basically. I think I had some good options there. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so my, the, the only thing that was, uh, like, for me, I, the only thing that would have ever won me that straight uh, thing off is a plus three with one one move. Yeah. And where the fight is, yeah. that one one move would have been wasted, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because we're all kind of all mixed in together. Scrumming in here. The thing is, though, even when you're just jogging around in scrums yeah, and I mean, stuff, that plus one extra move. I mean, let's talk about that for a second. Yeah. This this card that you were thinking about playing was midfield general. Uh, friendly models game plus one, plus one move. And it's a plus three to the initiative. No yeah. influence. Um, and just that plus one extra on the jog can be so important sometimes just in the just middle of a scrum. Around a, a around skirting the base. around and stuff. Yeah, you'd be surprised how important that is. Um, other ones I had, just because I'm happy to go through the rest of my hand. Yeah, so we still I got a couple of cards that we never saw. So I also had another seven. I got lucky. I drew both sevens. Ah. I had Lone Striker, uh, which is seven influence. Se sorry, seven initiative. Seven influence. Se seven initiative. Uh, minus one influence. Um, so you have to be careful when you use this one. Uh, if your team has the initiative, uh, the first friendly model to activate has minus one attack. So basically, it's a massive gambit for just going first. Just go first to get the goal. Because you've got minus one influence and a penalty to the first model that activates. Yeah. That's real bad for models like uh, like Piper, for instance, who has a low attack anyway. So I've yeah. got to be careful when you use that one. Uh, the other one I had was Dig Deep. Uh, the friendly team gains two MP each time the enemy team scores a goal. Yeah, it's plus yeah. two to your momentum and plus one in influence. So I think this one where you think they're going to score so on me this plus, turn. It's plus two to your initiative, you mean? Because no, no yeah, sorry, sorry, plus two yeah, to your yeah, initiative. Fine, yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, plus two to initiative, plus one influence, and you score two MP when the enemy team scores a goal. Yeah, so it's yeah. like it's when you've got that striker out in the wing who's going to score. You know that's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. You let it happen because you get all the benefits. Yeah, because yeah. of it. I mean, that perhaps could have been an interesting card on turn two, but you, we, we were kind of fighting over the initiative there a bit. Well, yeah, weren't we as well. So that's, that's when I went for one of my higher ones. Yeah. yeah. And the other one I had was um, Won't Touch the Hair, which is the one that people have seen, I think, on yeah. the solicitation, um, which is a uh, it's plus three to the initiative, plus one to influence, and one choose one friendly squaddy model that gains poised, which is yeah. can make a free counter attack. That's nice. Uh, Would have been very handy in the middle of the game. I think some um, 
Some good counterattacks, but I've got a lot of one-inch melee zone models here, and my two-inch melee zone model already has, has, poised. has poised already. So with the double no, dodge, I was yeah. kind of taking that one for the in case I needed influence. Yep. Um, a bit later on. No, oh, there we go. Thank you very much. I hope you guys at home have enjoyed seeing the game plan deck in use, and we'll look forward to it being out there. So. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Jamie, for beating me again on stream. <laughs> uh, Always a pleasure. <laughs> no, uh, yeah. And we'll uh, see you again next time, guys.